should we like do the same thing or should we start somewhere different? Where do you want to start, Jojo? Huh. Hi! Um, there's so much to look at, it's hard to know. I feel like last time we went that way, so maybe it would be good to go... A different way? Like over there first? I don't know. I wonder if they have a suggestion. Look at, look at your map. Maybe your map says... I wonder if they have a suggested like, route. Hello, 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 Ron. What up? Check out those roller skates. Thanks for coming in, Ron. Good to see you. What up, Dove Season? Thanks for coming in. You remember roller skates like that, Dove Season? Thanks for coming in, Charles Richardson, Ron. What up? Charles Richardson, Ron, Dove Season. Hey, Jojo. Hey, she said there's really no wrong way. So which way you want to go? We got Ron, we got Charles, Hi, we got Ron. Dove Season in the house. Hi, Charles. Hi, Dove Season. Yay. Um, I kind of want to start with the cool old cars. So in here is going to be like up, up to 1940. He said a lot of times they do recommend going the same route that we went last time. No, oh, um, Swampy in the house. Hey, Swampy. Shout out to the lures. But I feel Where's like Angler we, at? We barely got any time with those cool old cars last time. Where's Angler at? We got and with like all the war vehicles. Farmer, Farmer, third. Bowie oh, Doo in the house. Hey, Bowie Doo. Hey, Farmer. Thanks for being here. We're going to be looking at some cool old stuff today. It's a giant place with a lot to see. We've been here before, as some of you might know, and we promised to come back because we just didn't have enough time last time. We didn't even get to look at all the lures. Yeah, we were in a hurry by the time we got to these lures. Thanks for coming in, everybody. This is quite a collection of like lures. Not old. <laughs> but they're from Lure Jensen. Where legends live. Yeah. What do you have to say about okay, that? Okay, pick out, pick out your favorite lure. And uh, I'm going to pick out my favorite lure. Okay. Oh. We're picking our favorite lures. Happy. You got one? Take it to a first instinct. Yep, I got one. What is it? This purple one with the stripes. Oh, dang. It was a hard one between that one and... Vista! And this one right here. Hey, Vista! Ooh, that one is really pretty. Yeah. I was, I was right here. I was with the sugar... Oh, you like the silvery the, one. The sugar sheds. My sweet sugar booger. My sweet sugar booger. <laughs> Nice, Heck you like yeah. the silver ones. They are beautiful. I Chris, love the, the... Chris Wood in the house. Hey, Chris Wood. Welcome. Look at this cool little jackpot machine. Five dollar jackpot. Dang. Do not touch. <laughs> oh, you know I don't follow rules. I told you. No, they're not. I told you they were the same shoes. They're Swampy not. Swampy even knew it. He's like, it's, those are the same no, shoes. No, they're not. Look. Those what? You're <laughs> she's she's, she's like, like, look, I'm like, squeaking. Rrr, rrr, rrr. These are not, Swampy. I know which shoes I wore, and I was going to wear them again just to mess with you guys, and I didn't. But these ones squeak anyway. You can make yours squeak, too. It was every step I took last time. It was every single step was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. It was like somebody was getting stabbed or something. <laughs> Thanks for remembering. <laughs> Camera action. Yeah, I bet they do, Dove Season. That's a good idea. I used to wear earrings all the time and I just really got out of the habit. Like Squidward? <laughs> just hop in a plane and fly off. I like it. I love that they're Ford 
Your shoes are squeakier than mine this time. That, those are your shoes, Jojo. No. Yes. No. <sighs> I just heard your squeak. No. I think it's Hello. fine. <laughs> it's the floor. Oh, my God. Did she not be careful with the tread in here? <laughs> these, look, these are my least treaded shoes. Hugo! Hey, what Hugo! Up? Shout out. We started oh, early. Frank in the house. Hey, Frank. Um, Chris Wood said, is this a pawn shop? No, it's a museum, an airplane. Airplane, uh, and, airplane and automobile museum. What are we looking at? This crazy pile of crap. What, can you tell us about it? It is, it looks like a, a snag. Looks like a fishing snag. That's like a, that's a monster snag. Tons of crazy Do you lures. think that all came from one snag? Do you think somebody pulled that up? Or do you think yes. somebody made that? I think somebody made it. I think somebody pulled it up. Because when you think about it, like in rivers, stuff collects in the same spot. You know, like there was some kind of eddy that just collected all this stuff. Why else would it be like in a display? Like it's not, very, if somebody put it together, I mean, anybody could do that. It looks like a real snag to me. Okay. We'll have to find out about I that. I think so. Neptune. The cutest little boat motor you've ever seen. What kind of boat could that propel? A little tiny trolling motor? Yeah, a little tiny single person boat. Hello. Hi. How are you? Buying lots of cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were wondering what's the story with this. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I actually live uh, next to the, the the old factory, which was a house in town. Uh huh. They had the house, and then they had. A little building in back where they made all the lures before they moved down to the waterfront. And now my neighbor, they've converted it into a, like a mother-in-law type apartment. Uh -huh. or whatever. But yeah, I guess back in the day, that's where all the lures were made. Right Heck in yeah. Oh, that's cool. But right in the neighborhood. That is we, awesome. We were having a, de a debate as to whether this is a natural snag. Like somebody literally like snagged this, snagged this as it was out of the water. Or if somebody like kind of put it it's together. It's a piece of art. Yeah, it's a piece exactly. of art. Either way, it's a piece of art. It <laughs> could be a piece of river art or a piece of like person art. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going I'm gonna go with... find out. Oh, I like that. <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna know. Heck so yeah. Here. Thank you. We'll come back and we'll know. Awesome. I mean, this is the friendliest place ever. Everybody is so kind and sweet and awesome. Oh, yeah, read that last comment there. Swampy! Uh, <laughs> Dove Season said, I've probably uh, added to that ball of lures. <laughs> Are we waiting here for an answer? Okay, maybe I am a little bit squeaky, but uh, not as much as last time. <laughs> last time was so bad. Crocodile. I, okay, so this is my new favorite lure. I don't... Whoa, it's like a little... It's like an egg... Sack. Little egg glue. Look how cool that one is too. Spoons. Spoons. And wobbler wobblers. Wobbler. That's a wobbler. It wobbles. That's what it's called. Uh, Jojo, could Just you like... uh stop squeaking? <laughs> Absolutely not. She's just, she's serious, she can't. Here you I can't find Oh he's coming. Yeah, he's that was pulled out of the Hood River. That was right. I, that is awesome. I knew it. That, that is awesome. Years and years of, yeah. I mean, I so, some, like somebody probably comes through here and they're like, I missed that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. That is mine. You have stolen yeah. my personal property. That <laughs> is. makes sense though, because fish in the hood is... Turbulent? <laughs> it is, and it's squirrely. And it, this time of year when it starts to kind of get good, um, the, the flows can be really fast and you can lose i've lost i don't fish with lures but i've lost flies you know yep. in the river yeah oh you fly so, fish yeah cool so it's real <laughs> thank you so, so much for letting us know that was sure. very helpful <laughs> that is awesome swamp swamp swampy says uh she did it last time we were here too frank <laughs> not anything compared to what happened last time. Now I wish I would have brought those ones so I could show you. Shout out to Angler. 
Dragon Model. Hey, Dragon. Ronald McDonald. Hey, Ronald. What up? So we're probably gonna we're gonna cruise around here. We'll check out this section, I think, and then we'll have a little coffee break. We'll go out to the car and have a little music slash coffee break, and then we'll come back in. So we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, they close at five, so um, there's so much stuff to look at that we wanted to give our to give ourselves plenty of time. Little teeny tiny stove tops. Teeny cast irons. Oh, we need those for our mini cooking streams. Mini cast iron cooking. That would be on that stove. You, I thought you could use that little stove. Put a fire in there. You could definitely use that little stove. Ooh, look at that arrow back there. I want one of those. It's funny, glass shells in here. I love that fossilized shell back there. What is that that's fossilized right there? It looks like some kind of weird, like, one of those ancient bug-looking things, you know? What are those A called? Bug-looking thing? Tray or something? Tray, no, tree. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Look at these old school wheelchairs. Wow, I really want to sit in it. Man, I've seen chairs, like regular chairs like this a lot. I feel like somebody converted this I've into... I've broken chairs like this a lot. Look how this one has... It's the... poop, Jojo. It's poop. <laughs> it does kind of look like it could be poop or shrimp. Twirly bug. It's twirly a twirly bug. bug. Look at all these little... Shout out dragon model. Shout out model model. Oh my gosh, I love those teeny barrels. Model, model. Model, model. Look at the teeny barrels and the teeny forklift. How cute is that? Come on. Oh, I love that one. That's my favorite. I don't know why I feel the need to pick a favorite, but I do. This one's cool, the logger. Yeah, it is. We I saw, we one, saw of one of those, those at the real, Agriculture Museum with you guys. Size. Now we see it in mini. That's pretty cool. Look at this. That's a, that's a cool idea, that twisty calendar. Until the years. <laughs> I bet well, you just when they the were new making one. them, they probably had inserts, inserts for each year. Betty Boop. The, uh, the uh, Dove Season says that's some Hannibal Lecter type wheelchair shit. <laughs> yeah, it really is. These are all prop pop guns, so I think we're allowed to show them, but I'm not going yeah, to show too them long. too long. Look at all the busts. The teeny busts. Teeny busts. busts. That's kind of fun to say. Busts. Some old toys. Yeah. I used to have one of those. You did? Yeah. Just like it. Cool. Look at this. That thing just doesn't seem like it belongs, but I guess it is an old cell phone. Angler's in the house. Angler, Angler. you just missed all the fishing lures. Thanks for coming in. Get I feel like I should go. I should go right back. Yeah. We, hey, shout, we he, shouted you out. He's only popping in and popping out, but maybe oh. he's got time to see so some. See the most important thing in this museum. We'll go, we'll go here. Oh yeah, you can look at the old Ronald oh, McDonald. We'll show him yeah, the. Don't the natural snag. Oh yeah. Pulled up out of the river. Just like that. There's so many things in there. Look at the hairball. Kathy Dude. H in the house. Hey Kathy H. There's some vintage vintage angler in. Those really all of these would make really pretty earrings, like those Susan was saying. There's here's some ice fishing lures for you. Like if I picked one for ear ones for earrings, it would be like these ones. Oh, be pretty earrings. That's awesome. Thanks for coming in, Angler. Heck yeah. Glad we caught you. Bird nest after a rave party, Vlad says. What up, Vlad? Swampy says some of those old hooks go for good money. Oh, I bet. Oh, 
Oh, that radiator hat. <laughs> they have the radiator exposed. Do you, was it really like that? Probably. Probably. It probably needed to be to keep it cool, I wonder. Uh, Kathy H, her shoes are less squeaky, we, we will say. We'll say they're not they're much as squeaky. She likes to blame it on me. I wasn't oh, gonna... look at this one. It's got hand pumps. It's got hand pump. You... Oh, that's awesome. Nah, he wants to ride it. Was Kathy asked about my squeaky shoes? She did. She remembered. She said, I don't have them. Hey. I don't. See, I told you. I told you I don't. I love a lamp. The doctor's in. Thanks for coming in, Vlad, Kathy, Drag, and everybody out there. Oh, the fish aren't biting. Dang it, angler. Thanks, Ronald. They're way better this time, for sure. <laughs> Vlad thinks those chairs are haunted. <laughs> they are creepy AF. Look, I mean, that, they are all that slightly... That guy in the rubber boots was like me last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. He was walking all He's like, it. it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I just embraced it and walked normally. Mm. I... Hacky sacks, juggling bags. We got an interesting collection going on here. Yeah. Oh, look at that Fraggle Rock. Mario. Oh man, that was my favorite cartoon growing up. Ice pick with fish hooks in it. I love Fraggle Rock. Ronald, it's you. I, where are you? I was like, you got to be around here somewhere because I feel like this is all McDonald's stuff. There's Mac the Knife back there. <laughs> or Mac the Knight. <sighs> where is he? Do you see him? Ronald? Yeah, he's got to be in there. Oh, wait, was he up there maybe? I feel like he was in here. Yeah, he had to have seen himself if he said it to me. Was he one of the pets? No. Squidward. Oh, the burger. The no. burger. Oh, that was dragon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, McDonald burger. I love the Fraggle Rock ones. I want one of those. Official pie tester. Oh, there are fr there's the fries. Transformers. I remember all these toys. Yep. These are, that, that one, the pegs, those are little people. I was obsessed with those. Yeah. I had a lot Every of little those. kid was obsessed with those. I remember the those. first time I ever, like, cheated. Hey, how you doing? I looked in my mom's closet to see what I was going to get. And, oh, I guess, I guess it was the only Christmas we ever celebrated. Because we didn't celebrate Christmases. And I felt so bad for finding out what I was going to get. But I, that it like got rid of the excitement of it. Dang it. Moon shoes. Hey, Tina Bean. Thanks for coming in. Bean, hello. Have a great afternoon at work. Yes, we know the feeling. Oh. All those weekend streams get us. We're both fired because it ain't 420 and Stalls Blues fired us. Stalls Blues, it's 420 in our hearts and you know it. Corey. Look at Khan. Or, no, wait, what's the snake's Corey name? Corey in the house. Hi, Corey. Good to see you. Uh, he said he's got to get to bed to soon. You. If anyone sees OM, give him a salute for him. Salute. You know it, Corey. You know it. We love that man. I saw him. Uh, he's been hanging out. I saw him in Roy's. He's just so busy, you know. He always is popping in. What's and out. Roy's channel? Life with or just, just Roy. Roy? It's just Roy. Um, Hard to find, but if JoJo can post the link in chat, I Roy can. Roy's got some great San Francisco streams, great sunsets, great little chill, chill vibe. My I'm buffering on my, it won't it won't load on my phone. Crappy AT and T. <laughs> Dang it. Man, I love these old toys. We gotta get out of the toys though, Joe. We got so we got real cool. things to look at. But this is why we <sighs> this got is, here earlier. That's true. And this is the stuff we didn't Shout get out to look Scooby at last Doo. time. And the peanut guy. Does he have a name? Shout out Scooby Doo. Shout out Mr. Peanut. Dad joke incoming. 
Two peanuts were walking through the park and one was assaulted. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> okay, I am going to post Roy's link. Corey, sometimes you'll find old mechanic in there. I'm sure he'll be back up and running soon. Did I do it? There you go. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there are dirt bikes, actually. Oh, we're at the John Deere section. Look at all that John Deere green. Roy does a lot of IRL. He does, uh, like, he was, he's in San Francisco. So he goes, people watching and does some really cool IRL stuff. I feel like there are, are motorcycles, maybe. Huh. Yeah, there definitely are. The like ones with like wooden seats and shit. They're over there. Uh, Jojo just posted a link. Which back then was a huge amount of money compared to other jobs that they could get. He also reduced their work day from nine to eight hours. But again, by doing that. He can have three production shifts working and hence build cars around the clock. All of this was going on at a time of uh, economic difficulty and transition. And so the result of this is people would come from all over the country to get jobs working in Detroit at the auto factories. And of course, their job of choice was with Ford. Production of the Model A's went for 19 uh, years from 19 Roy says, hey, how'd you know I'm here? Hey. Virtual hugs. Hey, Roy. Uh, we were just shouting you out. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Good timing. Mm -hmm. So now everybody can just click on his little profile pic if you missed the link. Brian, 5K Bob, you want to tell us about this? What's this, Joe? Ooh, this is a Chevy panel delivery rat rod. So this is for delivery. But it's a rat rod, so it's been restored to look all bad at. The shifter's outside. <laughs> wow, what? That's cool. Look at the teeniest little, little air filter on this teeniest carburetor you've ever seen. It's a wooden wheel. Briab says, let's buy one, just that and JoJo. Hi, Briab. I wish. Yeah, that would be cool. Can I, yeah, that would be. Oh, it's got, it's got, it's got barbed wire. Barbed wire. <laughs> that is bad. I don't remember seeing any musical instruments, Frank. But um, if we see a volunteer, we will ask. There's that cool gas pump. All that stuff reminds me of Old Mechanic, too. The oil cans and the gas pump over there. Man, look at that fancy thing on top of the carburetor right there. The thing that takes it off. Man, that's like. That's a hose. That looks like silver. That's a hose. That's a hose turn. That's a that's a hose knot. A hose turn. It does look like it a is a hose handle. Huh. I guess <laughs> they probably have to get pretty inventive to uh, you know to remodel a lot of these, considering that there probably aren't parts. Well, anywhere. they're they're rat rods, so they're they're made to be like steampunky and yeah, art artsy fusion. Look at the bed on it. Wow. Uh, That's fun. That's real fun. I just like imagine this mini person like running across it, up and down. I don't know why. Fill it with snow and send a little teeny person sliding down it. It's so weird. She's, like she's a little weird. Emergency exit only. What are all those who's and what's it's over there? Looks like they're doing a restoration. Oh, Model T Ford Transmission Rebuilding Service. Huh. Stahl says, I'm so very, Carrie is so very, Carrie is so very, Stahl's is so very. Yeah.
Thou shalt not store thy cars out of doors except for thy wife's modern iron. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's car, nor his garage, nor his battery charger. Thou shalt not love thy car more than thy wife and children, as much, but not more. Thou shalt not read the hemmings on company time. Least thy employer make it impossible to continue thy car payments. I don't get that one. Thou shalt not despise thy neighbor's Edsel, nor his DeSoto, nor even his 1947 Plymouth. Thou shalt not allow thy daughters, nor thy sons, to get married during the holy days of Hershey. Thou shalt not deceive thy wife into thinking that thee is taking her for a romantic Sunday drive, when indeed thou art going out to look for another car. <laughs> <laughs> thou shalt not tell thy spouse the entire cost of thy latest restoration, at least not all at the same time. Thou shalt not promise thy wife a new addition to the house, and then use it to store cars. Thou shalt not store cars in the attic. Thou shalt not buy the wife a floor jack for Christmas. Words to live by. Yes, right Swampy? We decided we'd, end, we'd start with the cars and end with the planes today. So we're going backwards from what we did last time just because we totally ran out of time. Look at the pedals in this thing. Look they at the so look at things. look at the drip the, in this thing. And the seats, yeah man. This They're thing's like, got drip. It's like really awesome. It's got look at these lanterns. I love that. It has lanterns. Drip confirmed, Datvik. Good to see you, Datvik. Hey, Datvik. This is a 1911 Overland Model 49 touring car. Wow. Look at these little toy cars. Nah. How adorable. They just have little pedals in there. Little lug nut. That one's for, it looks like it's for a tall kid. <laughs> Chatians, uh, look at that. It's like a, oh, that's sweet. Now that's slick. Look at that. Is it one of the, that is cool. Yeah, right? <laughs> Are there musical instruments at all? Or is it just, okay. That's what I thought, thank you. Good apples. They, this video said that there were... We ain't got time for that, guys. Yeah, exactly. So there were... I was watching it for a second. Uh, apparently, uh, oil uh, fluid leaks were so bad in, in older vehicles that people were just, like, constantly having to top them off, and they would use, like, a corn starch paste to... Like the moonshiners? Like the moonshiners do on their moonshine. They had to, they had to seal the still. Look at this old grinder. It was hot before it started working. This waffle. Oh, maker. look at that. I bet that makes the best possible waffles. A box of tools. I um. I mean, we have tools. Do you do you mean old tools? <laughs> I don't work on stuff anymore. I used to, but. Now my time's too valuable. We got a 1912 Auburn touring car. Like a little Look limo extended. Man, those seats were comfy, huh? You got wood wheels. What do we got next? 1913 Model T touring car. They have a thing where you can do a day tour and learn how to drive a Model T. How fun would that be? JoJo's oh, next. I Big horn. You can't. You can't though. Remember the guy let me last time? Remember? This is a 1915 Overland model 81R Roadster. It was $850 when it came out. What? Brent Battle Cam, what up? <laughs> Good, to you. Hey, Good to Brent. see you. Good to see you. What the heck? Hello! We're out here looking at some classics. Yeah, we are. Hey, Datvik. With some did, wood. Did you request Stormy Monday? Was that you? Datvik, if you're out there, if did you're you still request? Out there. Did you request Stormy? Okay, this is a 
Stormy Monday. Dodge Brothers Roadster. And look at the way it's shaped. It reminds me of like Dodge Brothers. A dog or some dog face. It does look like a little Clifford kind of thing. Yeah. This one has metal. Hope, hope all's well, Brent. Yeah, Brent. That's awesome. Thanks so much for stopping in. We're up into the, we got we got wheels that aren't wood now. Always a pleasure. This is a 1917 Willys Overland Model 75B. It looks all smooth. It's so cool the double-sided lift for the for the engine compartment. Right when they added some uh, some flair and some fun to the cars, and not just how cheap can we make these and yeah. push them out? This is a 1913 International Model NW. Auto wagon. International. So Mrs. Looks, McDonald. Hey, thanks hey, for coming McDonald. in. So it looks like. Great to see you. This is JoJo. Oh, JoJo. He told me I could last time, so I get off for it this time, too. That was way lower than I was expecting it. I bet that. Oh, my God. I want to honk the big one so bad. Because if this one is that low, I bet the big one is like. <laughs> Dragon, you see what I'm dealing with here? She's a honking crazy lady. No, no, you, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's so cute. I love that honk. I want to do the big one so bad. We'll see. Maybe before we leave, I'll honk it and run. If he comes, literally pressed. You pressed the horn, Jojo. Literally. So they do restorations here. So this is an active restoration. We got a mod. Oh, I can't mod. Can you mod, Corey and Mrs. Nicole? Um, so I can we, try. So we can all check out our friends. So we like to have everybody modded. So if, you know, there have been times where I'm in a chat and I would really like to check out a channel. Like I see their name and I'm like, oh, that might be cool to check out, but I can't because I'm not a mod. So feel free to please check out channels. Uh, Hugo does some awesome uh, uh, slack lining. He has a couple really cool videos, new ones. That's her slack lining pose. She's such a honker. She's and a total. All Blues has awesome videos and blues music. Here we go, Brian. This one we can buy. Hey, wait, don't miss this side. Or are we going to come back around? I was going to do, but yeah, we could do, do it. We could do it that way. Whatever. We can do both sides. Yeah, let's do back and forth. It seems like. Oh, but I guess then, that. There's just so, so many things to see. So let's do the outside. You're right. See, Sab taught me too, the best way to mow lawns is to go around like that. I used to always go back and forth, but it's like, it it's, seems like a more efficient way to do it because then you're not like pulling it back and then having to like turn around. You're just going in a nice little circle. 1929 Packard. Such a honker. Honk, honk. Let me know if you see another horn, I'll honk it. What do we got here? Oh, this, this is, is the, the electric, electric car. car. The first electric car, but it is an electric car. Look at all those batteries. So, uh, so this is a cool old ad for this. Uh, the Detroit Electric is the company, Anderson Electric Car Company um, in Detroit. The, it says, all nature invites you to the exhilaration of the out of doors and the tonic of fresh air in your Detroit electric. So probably, I mean, these older cars were so stinky that this thing allowed you to actually smell the smell of nature. It probably just smelled like ozone and electrocution about to commence. It says a real automobile electrically propelled as, as an actuality in the Detroit electric. That is amazing. It's the safest, most easily started and stopped automobile in the world. I think I, that might be a self-proclaimed like, like how we're Monday's number one up and coming live unscripted variety show. This car is the safest, most easily started and stopped automobile in the world. In the world. Oh man, the smell here is amazing. Much it's love to you guys. Good. Thanks so much for hanging out and coming in. This is another restoration in progress. Looks like a suicide car. <laughs> What's making the noise? Oh. That air 
Bajabber. They got really cool workshops, all the manuals, parts and pieces. Such a such an okay. awesome uh Stop everything. We have a Stalls Blues poem. My name ain't taught. I can't mod. I want some pizza, but I shot my wad. Oh, dang it. Genius! Brent Battle oh, Cam, genius. you got you got the ability to check everybody's channel out now. We almost missed you in there. Exactly, Stalls Blues. Oh, I'm so sad we were working and missed all of his birthday streams. I know, what a scam. I think Greasy might have made a special appearance for the Blake birthday. I think he's still laying low at the moment. What a scam. This looks like a hearse. Does that mean hearse? Oh, this one's the one with the dead mouse. Oh, it's still there. Ew. It's... That's for educational purposes only. That is there for educational purposes. Because that's what happens when you leave an abandoned car in a garage. So it's a good lesson learning experience. Look at that, that thing's... wood in that room. That thing says with no pecker. This wood was growing through that. How incredible. I didn't notice that last time. Do you remember that? No, that's cool. That's amazing. And this old oil pan. This place is so cool. It's just so fun to look at stuff. Oh, that's like a hanging scale. Triple bean. Hi. Good. That's the guy that let me honk the horn last time. He's in charge of the horns. He's like, someone's out here honking without my yeah. consent. <laughs> Wait, are we going to do the outside and go Oh, uh, okay. Again? Okay. Because we have to see that whole side too. We're in Studebaker Alley. We got the 29 Commander. We got to zoom out. Commander. This one has real lights and not lanterns. So that 10 years, we switched over to more electric components here. Well, we got a 1938. This is a 38. This is looking real fancy. State Commander. Is that, is that a fog light? I mean, come on. Cool. State Commander. It's not... Huh. Uh, no, Kathy. That mouse is 100% uh, authentic. That is the real <laughs> deal. Real deal mouse. I think it's mummified, yeah. I think it's just like, uh, you know, it, it had perfect conditions to kind of mummify. 1947 Studebaker Commander. Starlight, Starlight Coupe. The, the two door. The color is just so 40s, you know. This one too. Yep. 1951 Studebaker Champion. Bang. Yes, that is just beautiful. Both of these little details are amazing. What were they overcompensating the for? The rear view on the dash in these two. So earlier they had the rear view up top and now later they put the rear view down in the dash. Ah, so they and had now like they're a, putting it back up top. They put it back up, yeah. So they had a period of time where they put the rear view on the dash. Ooh, the, the Lark Wagon. 60 Studebaker Lark 8. This is a this is a Ghostbuster mobile. Yeah, it, I think it's a, is it older, a little bit, right? Brian, better stop cyber dissing stalls blues, or he's going to ban them. <laughs> Does Brian not have a? That could be dangerous if Brian doesn't have a hammer. Uh, I think he does. Okay. 1966 Rambler Classic 770. See this? If there's Rambler and the Rambler. This reminds, it's like, uh, it reminds me of those seats in there and the color. We had an old Lincoln Continental that was kind of like that. Reminds me of it. I can smell the smell Avante. in my memory. 1981 Avanti Motor Core Avanti 2. Look at how, so it's like, it's this... crazy. The hood of this car is like two thirds of the car. Yeah. There's a lot going on under that hood and not much going on inside the car. Good luck fitting in that back seat. You have I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is the car that Bitch Inspector compared his penis to. <laughs> oh. I 
I was like, what's an Avante? And now I know. Yep, nice. Now I know too much. It looks so, yeah, exactly. It, uh, that's a really weird looking penis you got there. So it's a 1941 Packard Model 120. Dang. And I absolutely love the paint job on this. That is fire. This dark blue, light blue, oh my gosh. That is just, yes. Yeah. Permanent. Yeah, that is, a, that is a beautiful combo. This is a work truck. Man, that's a nice work truck. Look at those old phones. I want to talk on it. Hello? It's a 1925 Ford Model TT. Hello? It's a Model TT. TT? TT? <laughs> Let's go look at the front of this bad boy. Telephone company. Oh, man, this one's beautiful. This one just gives me, like, good feels. You got the thermometer. It's like, I feel like this was really loved. The blinker looks like a, like a tongue depressor or something. Funny oh, thing. look at that badness. Oh, tongue depressor. Uh, oh, just the, the blinker. Or what is that? Hard to say. Could be a... Are there windshield wipers? Yes, little tiny ones oh on the top. God. It's a hat. It's a split window. It's just one little windshield wiper up for the driver only up high. You would have to be tall to... For the windshield wiper to be what effective. The heck? It's so cool. That's all wild. The, all the fun thought they put into this. Show this little like balcony thing. Mobank says, woot woot, where are we invading today? Damn. Today we have went into Briab 5K Boss's underground lair full of collectible and cars. <laughs> the way they've set up all of these cool little backdrops. It's just really awesome and fun. Like this place is so good. Gives you a vibe. Yeah, exactly. This is a 1925 Ford Model T. Uh, Mobang, T -T. we're at an airplane and automobile museum. Stahl says, my wiener looks like a car too. The Matchbox wiener mobile. I was, abs I was absent when God handed out wieners. Dang. I get no respect. Dang it. Yeah, the, a lot of these cars yeah, do give you the, the Bugsy Malone. This one really does. Like, I remember one of my memories of vacation was seeing the the uh, Bonnie and Clyde car oh once. Is that the a pipe? Wiper is manual. Oh, it's got a little crank. Yes. And it's got a pipe on the dash, on yes. the window. It's got oh. a little crank. Yeah, do it. Do it. No, honey. no, I don't. I don't want to. It was stuck. It was a little. Oh, okay. It wasn't. It wasn't it going needs easy. Moisture. It wasn't going easy. This vehicle was restored during the year 1977 to 85. Four cylinder production. Original cost $260 plus 85 extra for starter and demountable wheels. What? Wow. Yeah, it needs a little lube. Maybe just a wet windshield and it'd be good, but on this that is, that, that dry rubber. This is a 1929. Does it still have, I kind of want to check and see if it still has a manual. Windfield right here. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? It doesn't. You better show us it's, while you're uh, back there. It looks like it's some kind of contraption, like it's electric, not, see it has that like tube going to it. So they, they made them a little bit less, uh, analog. There's a key in there and everything. It's fake. What's fake? It's all fake. <laughs> Stole's nickname in gym class was Fat Chick. <laughs> God damn it. I can't wait to check that one out. That thing's so cool. This is Peggy Sue. Oh, we're getting into the mix. We're getting in. We got carousel horses, planes, and cars here now. This is this one's split. This is like one of those like um, they dissected it. School. Carousel horses. That is funny. <laughs> the dragon says, I'm sorry, souls. <laughs> <laughs> so it's telling you that each one of these horses is typically 25 pieces of base wood. It's not carved out of one cool. section. That is awesome. That is so cool. There's a plane in the Herbie's sister. Herbie's sister. Herbie's. Yeah. It's a super beetle. This is 1955 Willie's CJ3B. We saw, I wonder what that 
Willie's is, I guess, a power company. We saw yeah. one of those. They were making those in the nineteen in nineteen thirteen as well. So they were around for a while. Yeah, they were. I think Jeep Bottom, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like or, I, I can see where that is true because it really looks like a Jeep. Look how they have the tire mounted back there. This is a '71 Super Beetle. Jojo, get on the horse. I love the color of this. <laughs> <laughs> I better not. It might not hold me. Gathered at the Yuma Airport, and Woody radioed his ground crew. Woody said to me, he says, "Hey, Griff, do you remember what day is? What day this is?" I said, "No." Forty-seven said, days. It's ten ten. October tenth, nineteen forty-nine. The city of Yuma's wheels touched down after one thousand one hundred twenty-four hours, nearly forty-seven days in the air. Well, there was oh, lots of cheering, cool. lots of people. Everybody was wound up like an eight-day clock. Unleaded wound up like legs, an eight-day clock. That is awesome. JoJo's trying to get us in trouble, Mo Bang. I saw people without masks on. Oh, no, not the mask. You gotta, you gotta take your mask off to drink. You don't have to. I think I can get to it. What am I trying to get us in trouble for? for about nine Who knows? Years. The airplane disappeared. I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. I just want to heads. touch things. Jim Gillespie did a little detective work and proved the rules. So is this the? This the isn't. This isn't the. No. Angle's family. It's just the same kind of plane. <laughs> the little stuff right <laughs> Dove season says, sorry, stalls. Maybe if you hydrate more. <laughs> Hydration. Hydration gang is real. Oh, motorcycles. Who asked about motorcycles? Dragon. We got a Check 79 Honda one. CX500. It has Mighty Ooh, Mouse. Ooh, with Mighty Mouse tag. Mighty Mouse is on his way. This is a 1963. Oh, he's so cool. This one looks freaking awesome. 1963 Honda. CA-110. Look at that! Is that, what is that? Like the exhaust is so, so cool on that thing. Oh yeah, the exhaust guard. Yeah, the guard, That's exactly. That's styling. Super hot. 3,300 miles on it. This yeah. is a Super Hawk, 1967 Honda. Yeah, I love that little blue bike, Dragon. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we got the Honda. Here, everyone. Oh, I th that is a Honda. 1972 Weird. Honda. I was thinking it was it's like adorable. a... What are the ones called? The Midgies? Like the the Urkel car. Yeah. Yeah. This is an '81. What is it? Probably is it not the road wheel? legal. It's a three wheel. And the single windshield wiper. It's, it's got the the spare tire right behind the seat. Oh man! And I thought that one was adorable. This one is adorable. Like real adorable. Jesse. Hi, Jesse. She's giving us the monocle because we're way early and that's not okay. Oh, dang it. Micro Don't cars. Don't lose hope, stalls. Don't lose hope. Micro car. <laughs> uh oh, I feel a joke coming from stalls on dang that. Dang it. <laughs> this, this is, is a 1950 19... Crossley model CD sedan. Out of the land of enchantment. Shout out the Bat Queen in Alberto. Yes. Thanks for being here, Jesse. I like the color on this one. These two colors complement each other really well. This is a 1930 American Austin Coupe. Ah. I, what is this? A cock. Oh, it is a cock. That's a little cock there, it's too. Like, oh, look at that little cock. Oh. Stalls, don't you like it? It's cute. Nothing wrong with that little cock. Davik wants the blue one. The blue car? Oh, did Davik ever answer? Oh, wait, Davik, Davik, you're here. We got an important did question. Did you request Stormy Monday? That I play Stormy Monday? Was that you? 
Uh, I'm still working on requests that I don't know who requested them. 1915 Trumbull Model 15B Roadster. This thing, everybody was like, whoa, you fancy. You fancy. Lime green. That is green. Almost like chartreuse. It's like not quite chartreuse, not quite lime. Citroen. Jojo is so sweet and uplifting. <laughs> Davic. Wait, did you not answer? That was not me, he says. Dang it. I wonder who did. The other Datvik. The other Datvik. Health brand. This is a 1915 Ford Model T runabout. Runabout? This, one, this looks like early kind of headlights. This is, or is this a lantern? That's a lantern. That looks like a lantern. So they started headlights somewhere. Lord. Can you say Citron oh, with a French? Can you see, oh, so that's like added lamps. So they that's the interior have, lamp. That must be like very new because that like the 1913 one up back there only had lanterns. Can you say Citron with a French accent? Citron. Oh, cit Citron. Citron. Like that. Like. That was a little more rough than the Can you say? Citroen. Wait. Citron. Did I pass it? Oh yeah, that Citron. one. I don't know. That was more Italian. Sorry. Come on. Oh, look, this is a hand French crank. it up. Oh, she did. You gotta be able to see everybody. She did. She I like the color of the inside on this one. You got oh, the the leather straps. Oh, sweet. Five horsepower. Oh, he said say it with say it with a French accent because it was manufactured in Paris. Oh, in Paris. Citroën, Paris. There you go. There we go. Sewing machine. Jojo, you better quit uplifting stalls over there. No pun intended. Pun intended. No pun intended. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to see you, Mrs. McDonald. Thanks, Mrs. McDonald. Have a great afternoon at work. Yes, hope it goes smoothly and quickly. Dang Mondays. How funny that they had this option to lift your windshield. I like it. If you want to get some breeze in your face. This is missing its windshield wiper, but it was. They took it off because they knew you were going to come, <laughs> come mess with it. Uh, then, 1926 Model T. We're getting some fabric liner on the side here. I feel like we were seeing mostly leather uh, earlier. 1930. Look at this bird. Look at this bird. It's cool. Kaka. Kaka. Shout out Lefty Beetle. Vista. Uh, is this like a petting zoo but for cars? I don't know. Most auto museums pretty, don't let you touch the cars. Pretty, Interesting. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty kind of much. A little bit. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Dabby. We didn't see anything, Dabby. But I remember the last time you were there, the little guy told me I could hunt the horn, so I figured... It was this one that he allowed you to do it. His, no. And it's gone. Oh, no? no? Uh, okay. It's, it was one of those over there. Shed Gang! Hey, Shed Gang! We're checking out we'll the... We'll find it again. Got the Thunderbirds, the Barracuda, GTO, oh, that's snazzy, snazzy lines there. Speaking of snazzy lines, that's a beautiful color. This one, this thing's a beaut. This is the one sad life. I mean, Sputnik, what up? Hey, Sputnik. Look at the double antenna and the, the jeweled tail The light. gas cap. Oh, cool. Double little antenna. Does it, how does it open? Yeah, I've done that. The pinstriping is just amazing. Oh my gosh, and the seat? The exhaust. Wow, that interior. Talk about drip. 
the trunk release is inside no the, the trunk release is inside the gas door the door release button is inside the trunk by the left hinge battery is in the trunk behind the left panel so there's no so in order to get into the car you have to get into the gas cap which gets you into the trunk which gets you into the door i mean would they tell you that if you weren't supposed to do it yes okay. you're not supposed to do it Can I you them? didn't you they didn't tell you that you reached in and read the owner's manual that that's there <laughs> for you to read there's no way that that's not there for you to read why else would it be sitting on the seat Penny? i'm a rule breaker and sad is like beyond the rule follower. travel safe jesse thanks for coming in see you jesse Hopefully we'll see you later. We'll be around. Toodles. Ooh, look at what it looked like before they fixed it up. Wow. Is there? Oh, so that's when they had it down to primer. So that's what it looked like originally. <laughs> Dove season said, Sad to fear you need to get a child harness for JoJo before <laughs> they kick you out. It's a fine, fine line, Dove Season. Custom coop. That's a beauty. Shout out Kathy Spanhauer. Yeah, purple and orange. This one's very... I think this is bad. Look at that. Dang. Man, these wheel welds have got to be bad for getting stuff stuck in them. Yeah. 1936 Plymouth Custom Coop. Look at this stepping boards or whatever you call those they're huge this you thing could ride is on the outside and do some do practical some bonnie and clyden yeah look at this oldsmobile 1970 oldsmobile that is like such a nice color blue such a nice color it's like not baby blue i don't even know what you would call that it's not a leash it's a harness <laughs> yeah like, like a baby bjorn yeah it keeps me safe it doesn't restrain me 68 GTO. Butte. Barracuda. Mm, Barracuda. A 1968 Barracuda. Where are the windshield wipers on that? It does not have them. It doesn't have them. You don't so take these... that out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take that out in the rain. I need that color in my life, right? So they had... That color is magical. They had wipers, and then they took them away, and then they had them. No, them that was just for the rebuild. They didn't put them in. Oh, okay. So that it looks all nice and snazzy. That one nice doesn't snazzy. have them either. Yeah, it's just for the rebuild, I think. Just so that you get those nice... It's just beautiful, <laughs> you know? And they're not, they're not going to be driving them in the rain. I mean, look how ugly those windshield wipers look when you look at cars without them. Yeah. I like the brushed steel, though. These windshield wipers go like this instead of going like this. In the old Thunderboard? Yeah. I didn't realize that they made those kind of windshield wipers back then. Last word, last word, last word. Everybody stop last wording. <laughs> Jesse lost. All Check right. out the car with the pop-up headlights. The wipers are set down under the hood, Frank said. What? Yeah, they are. Dang, they look so clean. You're right, Frank. 100%. These right. ones, you can't even see it at all. Right down in there. Good eye, Frank. Good eye. That's, see, now that's genius design. Yep. You just hide that ugly You're crap. Right you don't put it right on top of the car. This so is really confusing. Oh, it was a green light and said do not walk. Wait, okay. Pop up headlights. Is that the is that this one, the Buick Riviera? Is that what you mean by pop up? No. Cause I think those spin. Those aren't pop up headlights. Those are just headlights, right? No. Do they pop up? They don't pop up, they pop out. Or they spin and expose the light. Oh wait, these ones too, the GTO. That one's got a 
trap door on the GTL. Wow. I wonder... But he said, yeah, the Buick. Are they on all the time? Is that why they have a trap door? Just to keep them clean? Just, oh, to keep them clean would be a good idea. Because they get all worn and torn. Yeah. The Galaxy Sunliner. 1961. Has those dice in the windshield. This thing's a boat, by golly. The headlights are so weird. They're like little hearts. Yeah, they're they like are. Little butts. They look oh, like butts. Little butt heart lights. That's a beauty. Stahl's uh, dad drove cars like that in the 70s. Chris Hood nice. says that GTO was pretty killer. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous automobiles. I was around for many of them, Stahl said. Heck yeah. This is a little Stingray convertible. Corvette. 1963. Look at all the airflow that thing has. And those, those are pop-up headlights. That's crazy, those ones that spun around. I've never seen that. I don't know what to do. Oh, cool. Go quick, but slow. Okay, that's this thing? Yeah. Mm. 56 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. Uh, Shay Gang had a 79 Chevelle. Hell yeah. The C2 Corvette. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a car person, and still, these are just so fun to look at. It's so cool. Indented. The negative space. Okay, I will. Angel Wang, thanks for coming in. Uh, Shay Gang also had a 77 El Camino. I loved the El Caminos when I was little. I thought I'd be cruising one of those. Looks like it's, I don't know. Doesn't look like anything. Air. Air back there. Ooh, 66 Mustang. Man, they got some really beautiful colors. I like that color yeah, too. Yeah, this one's almost like a baby yellow, but lighter. Baby yellow. But it's lighter. Two, two plus two. 66 Chevy Corvette convertible. Oh man, I just love the blue one. I just love the two shaded blue ones. So nice. Dang. That one is sexy. Look at the curves on that. Ooh. Ooh. This that's, one. That's that, yeah. Oh, wait. The, the stingray? Yeah. The curves going all the way down. Man. Woo. JoJo's a Corvette girl, apparently. I, man, I usually like the regular Corvettes, like that one, I'm not as much of a fan of, but this, I love that. The blue really gets me too, I think. It's the color. It, but it's also this, like, yeah. that, the way it's sticks out like that, I don't feel like... They don't make them like they used yeah. to, Davik says. That's right, Davik. Look at that Camaro. The BB Queen. Yeah. <laughs> Super sweet. Air conditioning, tilt wheel, power steering, and brakes. That had everything you could want. Ramrod, Dodge Charger RT. I had a, I had a seventy, a seventy-one one of these, and it was bad. It was bad. Yep. It is a guitar. It's the La B, the Queen B, the BB Queen. Look at the hood releases on this. 
It does, it does look like the Mako shark. Sorry, Joe, coming back. Oh, those are to keep it from blowing up, blowing off. Does season had a 71 Torino GT. Nice. That is a beautiful. A 1981 Chevy Camaro. Heck yeah. Yeah, that black and white is beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, Dapnik said that reminds him of the Mako shark model. It looks like a shark, that uh, Corvette. Yeah, right? the Stingray. Yeah. These hood releases, did you look at them? Uh-huh. How crazy. So it doesn't actually have like a latch. You just unclip it. No, it, it has a latch. Out? That's just to, in case it gets blown up. And oh. race in drag racing, oh. it keeps it from not. Oh, that makes sense. I think that's what I always this thought those were for. Raising but I don't antenna. know. This is a raising antenna. That's for a fast new, like I really like to. I wish they had little plaques that said like this is the first year they introduced this thing or that thing. This has those cool curves too. Not as cool though. Not, They're not as pronounced. It's a stingray. But it's pointier. It's it is a little, you know, I think they like the front bells out a little more. Yep. And these are pointier. There's not. He might be right. Side. That might be a Mako. Are these deer deterrents? <laughs> Remember those things? Remember the deer deterrents yeah, that you put on your truck? Yeah, they still have those. 1966 Ford Thunderbird. Shout out Pip. Is Pip in the house? Shout out. No, Saul just does a million emojis and shouts out Pip because she hates that. Ah. 1962 Ford Thunderbird, Thunderbird convertible. That's a murder mobile. Look at that fuzzy dash. Yes. That's kind of hilarious. I, oh, this is such a pretty pink color. Studa. Dang. Oh no, Bel Air. This is for fancy shit people. Fancy shit people. Fancy shit. Beautiful pink. Got the fur coat in there and everything. People. Stalls has deer deterrents. They must... I was thinking about getting them for our electric car because that thing makes no noise. I have like... That whole thing I've, is probably a deer deterrent. I've almost hit birds because they don't hear me coming. Like, I've never almost hit birds so many times in my life. Clipper. Shout out to the Clipper. 1956 Packer Clipper. Sandwich one we trading JoJo for. So which one are we trading JoJo for, Jimmy? Says. <laughs> 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 Where, where's, where's the human Peter trafficking? Like yeah. Down there. Where's the human trafficking trade in? You can love cars as much as your loved ones, but not more. I don't as you, much. I don't know if you're here. I think that means you can't trade people for cars. No, it might be. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Cruising. This one's got a crazy ram. Wow, that's a crazy ram. It looks almost like a snake. 1954 Dodge Meadowbrook. The ram was sedan. The ram was born. Yeah. Karen, what? This this little thing got taken. Kaiser Manhattan. Kaiser Manhattan 1953. Is that like the original paint job? Is that why it looks yeah, like that? Yeah, I think it oh, hasn't cool. been restored. That's cool. I love it with the original paint job. This one too. Yep. 50 Mercury Monterey. That's cool. That's a four door. And look, the doors open out from each other. The cool, the back doors open back. Yeah. Jimmy, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know Jimmy. if I've said that already, but no, it's good to I see you. So. I think you just got here. And Rob Q about, rocks. He was talking about trading me, so. Oh, so JoJo just ignored you. Yeah, she was exactly. Like, eh. Rob Q, thanks for coming in. Hey, Rob Q. We're out here checking out some antique automobiles. 41 Buick Super And we're going right to go, we're going to go check out some. Oh, look at how, look at the. Super. That's where you lift the hood. Is that little? That is real awesome. Little latchy there. That would be hard to work on. Uh, you can probably take it all the way off pretty easily, huh? Oh, Stalls wants to set, set the record straight once and for all. He has nothing but love and respect for Pip. He was trying to make her laugh. Yeah, of Always. course. Always. Of course. That's the only. That's the only I'm thing. I'm sure it would make her laugh. That's cool. 
two door coupe. That's bad. Okay, Jojo. Are yeah. you ready to get traded? This is the one you trade me for? Yeah. I love the two door two tone brown. It's pretty snazzy. You're like, this is what you <laughs> this is what you give me credit for? You son of a bitch. Yeah. Should we look oh, at the yeah, the yeah. back ends of them? Yeah. Look Gotta at, get those good butt shots. Look at the butt shots. Double butt. Oh. <laughs> you eight. Man, that's a cool trunk right here. I love this one. This one's got a nice dumpster trunk. Yeah. Oh, it's got a little light on it. Put it in the dumpster trunk. It's like, hey, my handle's right here. Yeah. Do you see me? I'm right here. Great idea. Great freaking idea. Genius. They should have... They should have done that with keyholes for regular cars. Yeah, why don't they have those with keyholes? That's a, that's a nice. That's a nice. That's a nice Meadowbrook. I don't even. I don't think I've ever heard of a Dodge Meadowbrook. Yeah, and I really, either. I really like it. It's so like rounded. Oh, uh, do you think that was a reverse light, possibly? Bulbous. That's a reverse light we got going on. Oh. the truck? Oh, 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 come back, guys, sorry. I don't think so, because it has reverse lights over here. Oh, does it? Okay. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, it has... Well, maybe... See, the, it, oh. I would think that that would be the reverse light, and then those are the tail lights, and nuts. Because, look, Cause that one it doesn't even point. Up. It's up. Oh, it's a license plate light. License plate light. Cool. Now we know. But it also tells you where the handle is. It's a dual purpose light. Beep beep! Coming through! Did you guys try to hot wire the little thing Honda? Yeah. <laughs> we were thinking about cruising around in here and that. Eight to twenty wow, that's a range. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be a pretty fun one to cruise in for sure. Let's go. Frank says license plate light. Thank you. Jukebox. What's in there? We got Melissa Manchester, Sheena Easton, John Fogarty, Sister Air Sledge, Chicago. Let's take you guys back. Neil Diamond, Dolly Parton, Minute Work. This smells like soda pop and pizza. Yeah, and cigarettes. And a little bit of cigarettes. Oh, man. This is cool. This is JoJo's. Uh, this is cool. JoJo's trading me in for this, this one. This is the one we're trading tab for. She's like, look, it's got a blanket for me to cover up while yeah, my driver toodles me around. Man. Is Nicki Minaj on that jukebox? Because if not, we'll give her. This thing's seen a, had a better day, it looks like. 82, it's an 82 Kawasaki. It needs fixed up a little There's bit. 75 Moto Guzzi. Moto Guzzi. 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 Probably Guzzi. You gotta go with your Italian roots when you see the double Z. In other words, it smells like heaven. Yeah, <laughs> dove season, yes. You got it. This is like a, is this just getting set to be primered? What's going on? I think it might just be its original paint job. Right? That is a really, I like how it's Matt. faded. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's shiny at first. That is cool well, looking. This is the one that's, what's this all about? It almost looks like a level or something. It's a temperature gauge. Is it? Yeah, for your radiator. Oh, damn, cool. You had to get out and check it. What the yeah. hell? <laughs> Look at those wooden, that's crazy. So yeah, you had to smell it first and then be like, oh, I wonder how hot it is. Suicide doors on this bad boy. 292 cubic inches and 120 horsepower. Torque of 180 pound feet. Pound per square foot. From 400 RPM to 3500 RPM. This car was known as the Hot Rod Lincoln. So that's what those doors are called. Horns. Suicide doors. Double horns. Oh. I want to honk those bad. Rob Q. We got the 490. Oh, we're back to see. Oh, in 1914 they had 
Only lanterns. But then that 1915 had Wait, lanterns. this has both. This oh no, this is a lantern, lantern. Okay, yeah. got it. But the 1915 had lantern electric mix. I wonder if that was like original or if they just put those in there. You want to bounce back and forth side to side since this is our way out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go over here. So 1918 Chevy 490. Another temperature gauge in the. Look at the windshield wiper is all the way up above the windshield. Huh? <laughs> somebody, somebody did that on accident. Ah, oh look, it has antifreeze leaking out. It's missed the tray. I've been doing this whole stream with my zipper down just so everybody knows. <laughs> You can't see it. You <laughs> couldn't see it, just so you know. 1916 Buick Model 45 Touring Car. Nobody would have ever known if you didn't tell. Put a big block in that sucker. <laughs> yeah. It'd be hanging all, out all over the place. All right. Uh, 1929 <laughs> Franklin Model 135. Look at those doors. headlights. For um, reference. This is where the horn comes out on this one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Normally at antique automobile museums, you're not allowed to touch them. Is this I a really is this a petting? Do you think the horn would honk? No, it's yeah. not on. Well, I mean, car sounds honk or not on. Thirty-one Chevy Model A. E. This means nothing to JoJo. Exactly. That's right. Ooh, Just okay. letting the breeze in. Just what letting the breeze in. You it. Yeah, I know. She's like, don't worry, you can't see it. <laughs> Bitch. Mm -hmm. Okay, 1928 Chevy Malibu 1925. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Shrimp gang. Dang it. Look at spring shocks on this. I'm busted. It's called sports wiener. You know, when you're out active <laughs> and it's cold and things, you know, it's shrinkage. Shrimp gang. It's, it's shrinkage, guys. It's shrinkage. You keep faking me out. You're like, what you? Nope. You sure it was that one back there? A little bit. It was much. It was a much higher pitched horn, that's for sure. This is a 28 Buick Series 115 four-door sedan. That has that same hood ornament. Hood ornament! That's what it's called. I kept calling him a symbol because I couldn't think of hood ornament. A symbol. Gosh dang it. <laughs> that dang symbol. This one is very funky colors. I feel like the top might be... No. I was going to say the original, but no. Rob Q says, please have JoJo commandeer one of the old cars for us for content. We could. She's not far behind. I kind of want to sign up for one of those learn how to drive a Model T classes. How cool would that be? We got to go this way. Lunch is even included. Okay, did we look at this? The steam? No, we did not. Tell us about it. Thing. It's a... Altman, it's a 1910 Altman and Taylor 16 horsepower steam tractor. All the, you had to start a fire. All that for 16 horsepower. <laughs> wow. Dang. Wow, look how spiky it is. It's so spiky everywhere. Uh, Dust Season says, do it, Jojo. It's a cool skill to have. Yeah. You should. I wonder if I could film it from a distance. I bet you could get in the back of the car. So I, well, I guess an auto team maybe. Yeah, there. they have back seats. Maybe. We, could, we should call and see if we can set that up. This is a 1900 locomobile steam runabout. It's like this. Look is at like, that little steam gear. It's like a, a carriage. Awesome. It's like one step up from a carriage. That is so cool. I bet it got so hot sitting on top of that thing. That is super sweet. There's just a little bite horn on the shifter. That is neat. I really want to honk the horn, but I'm going to be a good example for the children. 
Look at her go, guys. Look at her go. Now get me away from the children. <laughs> okay. That was close. Huh? What one? No. I'm. There was like a bigger one than that too. One cent for each 12-minute period. That is awesome. High high pressure steam engine right under your butt. Not yeah. one of the most safe ideas. All right. hard way with a lot of that kind of stuff. Fundraiser <laughs> book sale. Ooh, battleship. Don't shoot the battleship. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Look at the snack area. The Snacksters. Oh man, that is the coolest thing I've seen in a minute. Thanks for visiting. Take a break. It says, Have a coach. Really good. Have a coach. 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 Have a Dang it. Why would they not be open on a, on a holiday Sunday? Oh my gosh. Because guys, they are, they're just doing vending we, machine we stuff. We pulled up and Sad was like, oh my God, it's packed. There were like 10 cars in the parking lot. Dude, uh, it's so packed uh, in here. Last time it's we were crazy. Here, we were all by ourselves, so. There's like so many people. Mm -hmm. Jojo. Oh, that feels better. Oh. <laughs> Look at this mini semi Jojo. Oh my god. Okay, that's what I want to trade sad for. That no, I already called it. It's you're a you're getting traded. It's, it's a tractor. It's got yeah. A tractor, semi tractor. A tiniest little bed. Is it a bed or a back? <laughs> it's a bed. It's a sleeper. How can you sleep in that? It's a sleeper. You would have to be a little person. You just have. That. You'd have to be cute. It's six bits. <laughs> we haven't on gang. She has to touch everything. I was pushing the chairs in. Thing, Shed Gang. <laughs> You'd know if I was touching everything. You got her. You got her. You got her angry now. You'd know, Shed Gang. Man, that thing is bad. Ooh, this looks like it would bite you real hard. I want. 1951 Ford F3 Custom Pickup. Dang. F3. Not, not 150, not 250. Three. That is cool. What in the heck is up with this? Oh my god, the little current signals are arrows. Now that's genius. That's cute. This is a one and a half ton flatbed pickup truck. Oh, we got to move back and forth in here. Oh, uh, that's like a brand new BMW. I think we'll be able to win it or something. Maybe not brand new. Yeah, it doesn't look brand new. But close enough. The moon. That thing's pretty. Those, ah, those blues. Truck only 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. In town parked cars. That is hilarious. This is truck parking only, bud. They need a little, an ill tempo gigante, gigante model. Shame they don't have it, Vlad said. Look at this thing. Oh, wow. Auto car truck. What the heck does that even mean? It's an auto. Shoes tied too tight. I'm going to loosen them. Why do I have them so tight? 
Impound the cars, Dad. I'm gonna impound all the cars. They're all impounded. Consider yourself impounded. 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 You're impounded, buddy. Impounded. Yeah, get him, Dad. Get him. I impounded you. Me? I'm yeah. Car. I'm not a car for impounding. I was not made for your impounding pleasure. Oh, I don't know why I had them so tight. She's worn out after tying her shoes, guys. It's ridiculous how tight they were. No, I'm, I'm relieved. She's like plumb tuckered. Anymore. Model 19 truck. That's cool. For public, yeah, it's so cool. It looks like Ronald McDonald color. It looks like a toy, yeah, it looks, yeah, it does have Ronald McDonald color. Maxwell truck, 1918. Video card update, Dragon. Hopefully it's on its way. 18 muscle truck, 1917 federal flatbed truck. That one's killer. Yeah. I wonder what you, what that little hanging thing, it's just for a hook for hanging bags and stuff? I uh, know that's the latch that holds the trunk, the lid down. Oh. Oh, that? Yeah. Up there. Oh, that's it, where maybe the light it's for went. the other light, yeah. Yes. Try our rye and pumpernickel. I've never had pumpernickel. Have you had pumpernickel? They're missing a Corvette model that it probably never made it to the States. That's the one we're missing. Oh, gotcha. The Il Tempo Gigante model. Okay. Ooh, it's a war vehicle. Hi, I'm hi. Joe Jack. Yeah. I'm about to go hi, take, as soon as we get through all these yeah, beautiful with aeroplanes. Area, which we only have this much right here. We're gonna go. Then we're gonna go for a break, and then we're gonna come back. Fire some evergreens. Planes. And you definitely don't want to miss the planes because they're so cool. They're okay. made all out of wood and canvas and crazy stuff. We got Joe Jack. We got Wookie. Wookie. Hello, hello. Thank you for stopping in. So, so. You're not supposed to step on that box because it has stuff that will explode. It will blow your ass up. Look at this. Is this a minesweeper? Or is this just for making a path? This is a scout car. That's cool. Oh, here we go. A roller incorporated in the front end is designed to help the vehicle negotiate ditches and obstructions. Oh, the roller drum is mounted between two reinforced brackets attached to the front bumper. Coil springs help buffer the shock when the roller comes into contact with a hard object. Wow. Snazzy. Look, there's bombs. Bombs. Back there. In 1940, Interstate Aircraft and Engineering Corporation produced the Cadet Two Seat Light Cabin Monoplane. America's entry into World War II, the Cadet was, at the request of the U.S. Army authorities, developed into a light liaison an observation monoplane of the grasshopper class. Just ditch the mumble mask, Jojo. I can't. That's, that's I what, wish I could. It's not legal. Next month. We're rule followers. Ne you, ne yeah, ne next uh, month. March 31st, we're no longer required to wear masks. But I will because all these people are gross. <laughs> A bunch of grossos. Out here sneezing and shit and now their faces. I will probably be a selective mask wearer at that point. I would feel safe having my mask off here. Supplied at its own expense, eight new J3. But we don't have to. I would have had it off so I could read to you right then. This is a 1945 Piper L 4J Grasshopper. A liaison series. Oh, look at this Canadian monstrosity <laughs> over there. Sanitation kit. 50 person supplies. It has toilet tissue, can opener. Why is a can opener in a sanitation kit? Commode liner, sanitary napkins, hand cleaner, 
glove, siphon spout. Siphon spout. What are we siphoning? The the wire. Those are toilets. It has a commode seat, which is the top of that thing. Cups and lids. Uh, instruction sheet and common chemical. So it has some like some things to do with things that go in and some things to do with things that go out. Or Mostly things that go out. Oregon is North Korea. Change Wookie's mind. Do we have to wear them even though no one's around? Technically, yeah, so, yes. It's, uh, That's... If you're indoors anywhere, you must wear masks. Outdoors, you have to wear masks if it's crowded. Um, but yeah, it's it's illegal to take your mask off. I mean, people definitely flaunt the laws. It's... And, you know, like, there were some people that didn't have them on earlier, and nobody stopped them from coming in, you know. So I filmed like... them and said, hey, what's up? Because uh, I call out rule breakers. I'm a tattletale from way back. I'll tattletale on JoJo for touching horn. She touched the horn. It was her. It was she her, Wookie. Can I trade her for a car, please? Yeah. She, she's, she's, she's the one causing the issues here. Can we trade her in for a car? This is a Korean War era vehicle. It was a trailer. M100 trailer. Quarter ton, two wheel. Korean War era. Speaking of Korea. A Luggable Lou. <laughs> Good one, Doc Steven. Poodron. Monday Madness. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> American Steel gives Wookie Wood. <laughs> give, me, give me American Steel. Ah, Joe Jack. <laughs> One in 30. And that one person's probably wearing a disgusting one that's got boogers and poop all over it. Yeah, and they probably just had like a zit and they didn't want everybody to see it. That's my new theory is a lot. I've been noticing a lot of women with two black eyes in a mask. So I think there's a lot of plastic surgery happening. Wait, I got to check out this American Canadian thing. This is a Canadian American Hummer. It's got a little America, a little Canada. Oh, dang it. You're right. It's true. Dang it. It's He's true. It's a risk. Kathy. It's Sometimes it's a risk I'm willing to take. Link trainer. The term link trainer, also known as the blue box and pilot trainer, is commonly used to refer to a series of flight simulators produced between the early 1930s and 50s by the Link Aviation Devices, Inc. So this is a flight simulator? Yeah, it's a flight simulator. The original one was created in 1929 out of the need for a safe way to teach new pilots how to fly by instruments. Cool. Why plastic surgery? Uh, just because the black eyes, I think, is indi indicative of like a nose job. And you'd be able to wear a mask to cover it up so no one noticed that you got a nose job. You wouldn't think that would be very healthy for healing though, right? What? Wearing a mask over... Like, you think that that could lead to infection and stuff. Well, it's only when they're in public. It's not like they're doing yeah. it all the time. Yeah. Two stereo range finder. What? Two and a half meter. What? Bosch and Loam. Polarized clear and yellow. Where do you look? I think it's broke. Or it's not hooked up. But what's it supposed to be doing? Measures battle ranges. This range finder has been focused for helium. Six arm eyepiece. Let's see what it says. Plane geometry measures battle ranges. The fire controlman in the warship's turret, glued to the eyepiece of the rangefinder, sees the image of his target, which may be only a mast above the horizon, cleanly split by a line across the central prism. Top half of the image transmitted by the right or measuring arm of the finder appears suspended in mid-air a few degrees to the right or left to its bottom half. Huh. 
The operation thus magically performed by the rangefinder is familiar to schoolboys as the eighth construction of Euclid. The solution of a right triangle with a side and one other angle known. Base of the triangle is the known length of the finder. Bruh, that's, that's too smart for me. That is gibberish to me. There's probably somebody out there was, that was like, oh yeah, I get that. Why'd she stop reading? And I'm like, I don't know what that means, so I must stop reading. Look at that M1 Grand that was found. From 1944. Vlad is in the future. So they found a solution? What are we talking about? What's that? Vlad said there were no women in war, so they found a solution. Solution? Mm. Oh, Joe Jack. Uh, Joe Jack said she either had a nose job or she had to be told twice. Right. Hell yeah, Sean Quinn. Happy President's Day. Hope you're enjoying San Fran. Sean Quinn. Little Daisy. Pop gun. Oh, potato gun. Should we take a break and then do these planes or do we want to do these planes I first? Think, let's do these planes because then we can just come in and go to the left when we come back. All right. Oh, you're talking about surgery. Nineteen forty two Harley Davidson Dragon. I'm glad you're having the best presence today, Sean. That's so cool. Which Sean way are we going? Um, this way? It's a bloody skull. Dang. They weren't messing around. Lulu Bell. Lieutenant Private R. Adair, Crew Chief, Corporal C.V. Peak. They got some bombs on that thing. 1943 Curtis Wright P-40N. It is cool, isn't it, Joanna? We didn't get to check out this area last time because we ran out of time. 1941. Aronka. Defender. Defender. It has a wooden propeller there. What the heck? Oh, it could land the boots for water landing. Yep. Yeah, good to see you, Sean Quinn. I caught like a minute of your of your uh, your stream snipe with oh, Blackbird. Made, yeah, obviously, Willie's would have made these geeks. Obviously. Well, there's a body in that one. I wonder when they started being jeeps. Oh! Crazy! He's getting transported out. It may not look like it, but he does not have a leg. Looks like he has them both. But he doesn't. 1943 Piper. Medic plane. Oh, it lifts. That would have gone down. Yeah. That's where they slide them in. I feel like we should go back and forth here. Those ammo boxes. That reminds me of geocaching. Look at this light. That's a big old light. Whoa, this floor is squeaky. It's not my shoes, it's the floor. Okay, let's go back. Go door, I don't want to go around the back end. I'd rather look at the front. Oh, sad THQ levels are low, apparently. <sighs> Who? You. You got some painting. Mine? Basic training target drone. There's that's about it. Sand Eagle UAV. Cool. We would have missed this UAV. Oh, 
If a flare goes off without warning, freeze and keep your face down. You may not be noticed if you remain still. Oh my gosh! That gives me the chills. Oh, oh! Could you imagine? That might be good to know, everybody. Just keep that in mind. In case you ever need that information. They didn't make them like us back they in the day. They didn't make them like they used to, and they used to make them real compacted like. $90. This is crazy. At night, sound is a revealing signal. They had these posters hanging up around the base or something? Around your town. Gosh. American Junior Target Drone. The plane of the future. Whoa. Cool bazooka. Bazooki. Cocked. Trigger cocked. We got a bazooki. Some front front toward enemy. I'm having real cod flashbacks here. Again, first consideration is background. Choose a place where the foxhole will not change the look of the background. They must have really, because it says again. Again, don't really forget. Again. Emergency drinking water. Food packet abandoned aircraft individual. Oh, this just is so crazy. It just, oh, man, like, people died on these and around these things. A lot of them. Look at that. It's like. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm trading you for this. Man, <laughs> you know, things really hold energy. Like, this area feels much more. Mm. Serious, you know. Nefarious, like, or, uh, nefar nefarious <laughs> yes. It just like, like that one car felt so good. And like here, it just is, oh, it's crazy to think that these things were used for war. Move carefully and quietly, stay close to the ground. Disposal of spoil, carry it away in sandbags or shelter halves, dump it on dirt roads, paths, or in streams. This soldier is covering the spoil around his foxhole with pine needles. What is spoil? Is that their poop? Spoil, they called it, apparently. Shape the frame with branches bound together with wire twine, strips of cloth, or dried grass. Top should be garnished with grass or natural foliage to match the surroundings. Detail of cover. Garnish materials must be replaced before they wilt and change color. Ah. Uh, so that, is that like a sleeping hole? It's a foxhole. A foxhole. Hole. Fox foxhole covers are light in weight and can be easily pushed away. I didn't even really realize they did come. The bees, like that. what up, the bees? Thanks for coming bees. in. Good to see you. That's a lot of wire. It's a half mile of wire. Doesn't look like they use much of it. Imagine trying to figure this thing out when it first came out. That don't look plug and play. <laughs> oh, spoil is the dirt you displace while making your fox. Oh. Yep. Frank, thank Whoa. you. Thank you. Thanks to Beige. Thanks for being here. Come down. Dragon. Uh, Jimmy's trying to set up a meetup. Come. Uh, um, Dragon um. Dragon used China Post. Oh, shout out. Said it was in the U.S. Right, Sean? Shout out Robin. Back there. Good morning, Vietnam. Wild. Phone booth? Phone booth. Look at sad, touching stuff. It's not behind a thingy majiggy. But the door is closed. See, I'm telling you, they don't make them. That's it, I'm telling. Yeah, you can barely even fit in there. Look, Lily, look at you. 
<laughs> Look, he oh, dang it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I there messed ain't it no up. The door. He <laughs> Good one. I want to try to let me try to fit in there. Okay. How comfy is that seat or what? Oh, so comfy. You're supposed to, I think you're supposed to sit this. You got to get your knees in first. You gotta get, oh, oh look, she fits. This is where we trade you. It says, it says out of order. This is where we trade you. Oh, it says, it says do not deposit coins until party answers. This is the groping box. What a Brian. Brian. So it says, have dime or nickels ready. Listen for dial tone. Dial number desired. After party answers, quickly deposit dime or two nickels. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. You got to so, start it with some and then. So what that reminds me. No, you don't start it with any. You just call and then you deposit it. So what that reminds me of is when I just like had to say something really quickly to somebody on a payphone, Like. I'm dating myself right now, but you would put your quarter in, you would make the call, and then you would say it real quick and hang it up, and you could get your change back. Hey, what about this up here? Keep both ground and aerial observation in mind. Against ground observation, sight foxhole so that you are not silhouetted against the sky or a background of a contrasting color. These are all, all val valuable hints. Foxhole covers can be made to simulate grass or bushes depending on the terrain. Slit must be left for firing. Covers are highly effective against air observation. Wow. You gotta leave a slit so you can kill people. Light attracts the enemy. Not even a cigarette glow should be shown. If it is necessary to use your flashlight to see something important, be sure to use a blackout filter. Against aerial observation, place foxhole under trees or bushes in a dark area of the terrain. Yeah, we should, Sean Quinn. Brian, have you ever been uh, raped, Rizzo? Welcome. Oh, he's old. I, he's old news. I don't know. Oh, is he? I he's been here forever. He wants ropes, and he's asking very inappropriate questions. Inappropriate, sir. Kathy, feel free to do what you must, lovely lady. You heard her. Um. Dial. I mean, if you asked me, I would just answer honestly, but that could be a very offensive question. So, I understand anything that might possibly happen to you. I understand. Whoa. Look at that. Bye bye. Recordless will rifle. That bullet for that thing, that projectile, I don't even know if you can call it. Look at the one with all the holes in it. That thing really uh, probably makes a lot of noise when it flies, I wonder. Oh my gosh, the lady uniforms. Hey, ladies. 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 Oh, now I'm squeaking. Oh, well, this is, <laughs> this is the squeaky floor, I told you already. Oh man, I would wear this jacket. Cringe chatter. Cringe mod. Hey, we would mod you too if you were nice. Yeah. Because we like our friends to be able to check out each other's channels, you know? Mm. We like to be like supportive and all that good stuff. That's the mail cannon you would have to duck at five in the morning. We got the best mods in the game. I don't know what you're talking about. No, we don't. Mod up in here. Shout out to the ugly angels. Modibator. I mean moderator. <laughs> Whoa. What? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. I'm on autopilot out here. World War II era deep with the fold down. It's you real really squeaky in here. In 
The squeak is real. Food will win the war. You heard that here first, folks. Food will win the war. Ugh. Man, it would make such a big difference to have. Oh yeah, you're wearing that pocket jacket. Pocket. This is a pocket is. American Motors M151 Jeep Vietnam era. It's called Mutt. It's kind of cute. Even with this little gun on top. Yeah. We got a. It thinks the gun makes it look intimidating. <laughs> 1952 North American TCJ. T6G. <laughs> T6G. Words are hard. Leaking, and they have not emptied that. Oh, we need, we need a, we got an oil spill on aisle T6G. <laughs> Oil spill on T6G. Okay, we looked at that stuff. This is a gunner mobile. Gunner mobile. Look at this, look at this lady, like, posing by it. I think that might have been the lady at the front desk. Cute. Yeah. Waco cargo ramp. Oh, they have one of those trailers on that. Why doesn't the beach have oh. a lot? There was a moon pie landing, by the way, Frank. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, we forgot we to both say thank for, you. Forgot to quit we message. Them. We uh, both forgot to message why you. Why not the bees, Oh, uh, because I haven't yet done that. Yeah, so do it now. Okay. Everyone's protected here. Okay, now. Break time? Yeah, I think we saw everything here except. Oh, wait. No, we didn't go around this loop. Okay, we need to see these airplanes. Oh, we went to the left. 1942 Frankfurt TG1A Cinema B. That thing's crazy looking. There's a 1942 Swizer TG3A glider. That's a glider. So it doesn't have an engine, right? So this is towed up by another plane and then glides around. 1935 Franklin PS2, also a glider. Polyfiber covering materials for this airplane provided by, oh, they're polyfiber coverings. I don't know if you could hear that. Kind of like my, you, my blue ukulele. Look at all the crap going on on that. It's a one, one skid lander. It's only got one pontoon. Dragon said, what's that small plane there, Chad? Uh, I think we'll be back around to that one. Yeah, yeah. This is the one that's right over there. We'll check that out on our way back around, Dragon. What do we got here? It's a flight suit. Airplane sex. Airplane sex? Ah! Who's having... <laughs> yeah! Airplane sex, lad. What are you talking about? In our 20s, you might have been able to convince us. Ooh, we gotta look at that boat over there. Yeah, we gotta go around the back side over here. And then we can come back around the front side. There's too much to look at around here. It's already 3.30. We only have an hour and a half till they close. We're running out of time. But we really checked out the section that we didn't last time. Um, so we'll go a little bit quicker through the, through the other part. Oh, but there's bicycles over here. I feel like I gotta go down to the bicycles. This is Datvik. Datvik, if you're out here, this feels like a Datvik section. 1958 Cushman 765 Eagle. Shout out Cushman. Cool. 1959 Cushman Super Eagle. Super Eagle. This one has little plates to protect your legs from getting hit by stuff. This is a 1958 Cushman. This is a 1960s Thule Trooper Big Boy. That one you can put your groceries on the back and stuff. This one Datvik wants a hold of. Yeah. The Wizard. Cool. Oh man. That's so cool. Roadmaster. Man, that's sick. Columbia built. Oh. Plane, the plane was having sex with another plane. They were doing it. Uh, Duffy's in the block to have a seaplane. Should we loop around this way? Do you way? fly planes, Duffy's in? Mile high clouds. <laughs> Mile high clouds. <laughs> oh, 
Did we miss a John Deere? Oh yeah, we got we we went the wrong way. I got distracted by the bikes, Kathy. There, wow. Why are you so styly for a 1930? Yeah, why they, do you look like you're from the future? Because they made them right to start with, so they never really had to change much on the design. They just took it away. They just took stuff away from it. Yeah, 1938 John Deere Model B-O. <laughs> and this is a 1939 John Deere Model B. I'd like to learn how to drive a tractor. That would be a really useful skill. Yeah. Mounting. Oh, this is for uh, <laughs> applying. <laughs> applying. He doesn't fly planes, but he would if he had one. Right? Yeah. For crop dusting. These are crop dusters. Sunny in 51. It was actually pretty nice when we came in, but it's, uh, it's supposed to be rainy today. Rainy slash possibly snowy. The Miss Burt. <laughs> Shout out, Miss Burt. Hey, Big ups, Miss Burt. There's float planes. There's, there are the seaplanes. Pictures of the seaplanes. I'm pretty sure there are some seaplanes in the other section, too. If I'm not mistaken. Here's seaplane models. This is cool. This shows kind of the, the skeleton of the seaplane. seaplane. We got a bunch of old boat motors. There's the plane sex. Plane hey, sex. What are you doing mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. plane, mm -hmm. plane? Mm -hmm. Wow. Whoa, that's full of flags. The 13 folds of the American flag. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold... The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans departing our ranks who gave a portion of their lives for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature, for as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him we turn in times of peace as well as in times of war for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, for in the words of Stephen Decour, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is for where our hearts lie. It is with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I didn't say that when I was growing up because I was a Jehovah's Witness. Uh, the seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all her enemies, whether they be found within or without the boundaries of our republic. But I think, I mean, you don't, you don't have to, it's not about worshiping, which is what they kind of said, why you weren't supposed to do it as a kid. It's about like respect and, and stuff. It's a, it's a weird tradition the Jehovah's Witnesses have. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death that we might see the light of day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood and mothers, for it has been through their faith, their love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great has been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to the father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in the Hebrews' eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Huh. The twelfth fold represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in the Christian's eyes God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The thirteenth fold, or when the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost reminding us of our, na of our nation's motto, In God We Trust. I had no idea that was a thing. Jim P, thanks for coming hey, in. Shout out. Uh, we gotta check out... Um... That British seagull is a pretty funny motor, but we gotta check out the Miss uh, Miss Burt's back end here. Miss Burt booty. That Miss Miss Burt booty. That Miss Burt got a booty on her. I know, Shed Gang. I hope Owen's out there looking on those. He, I know he loves this stuff. Yeah. Hopefully he's out there, or if not, he can come back through and get a get a yeah. update. 
Exactly. We'll go check out that little plane and then we'll go take a quick break. Little, yeah. And then we're going to only have about an hour to check out the other side, but I think that'll be perfect. We've done a pretty good job today compared to last time. Yeah. We're not Agreed. running through here. God bless you, Jojo. Thanks for reading that. Yeah, absolutely. That was very cool. It's nice to know what things represent like that, you know? Yep, dove season. That's the that, truth. Is that the little plane? The That's the little plane. This is the little plane. There are little dudes in that little plane. Oh, this little plane. Oh, shoot. Look at the little dudes in that little plane. That little tiny plane. He does not look okay. It doesn't say what he's about. But this piper is a glider. Well, it looks like it's a replica of this. Of the glider? Yeah, it's like exactly like So it. it's a replica of this glider. Polyfiber glider. <laughs> um, just like my blue ukulele. <laughs> just like her, her blue ukulele is made out of that. Yeah. Or maybe it's car No, my blue ukulele is carbon fiber. Close. I knew it was some kind of fiber. I really liked the toy section. I would spend longer there. Yeah, looking through up there's so much to look at. And some of it isn't that old. <laughs> yeah, it's true. A lot of it was like we got, in the 80s. We got a lot more planes so, to look at, so folks. So this is the section we're going to look at when we come back from our break. We're going to be pushing it to the close time, I think. They're going to have to kick us out. Yep. We're going to be hiding behind planes until they come find us. We should, talk, we should take one of these. Uh, volunteer on duty. Oh, is there? Let's put you. Hey, can, you think no, we could. That's okay. Do you no, think we could no, fit Sad no. in this little basket? Yeah. I think we could fit him in there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's try it. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a rule breaker. I think we could fit him in there. Notice it says for rent. For rent. <laughs> you got to pay for those. If I rent it, I'm putting him in that little basket. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's great. <laughs> it says for rent, Jojo. Oh, uh, yeah, dang it. But he said if we rent it, I can put you in the basket. You're not putting me in the basket. He said I could. You're not putting me in the basket. He said I could. What you want doesn't. Mm. <laughs> I'm fine. Mm. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Mm. No, no, and no, no, she's No, 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 no. <laughs> Dang it. No, so no. Dove, dove season's keeping us out of trouble here. Jeez. Thank you, Dove season. I think about the time that you were, that I was making those phone calls about the mixer and you said, hello, I hope you're having a great evening. Do you happen to have this mixer? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I don't, I don't. to recognize that, Ooh. you know, people are just doing a job and I try to be nice to people. I think I was nice to people I talked to. I was on. Just those yeah. one girls, that one girl that told me the freaking can openers were mixers. That one, I might have been a little mean to them. <laughs> Get in the basket. See? Shed gang's on my side. Get in the basket, Get sir. In the basket. Rent one with the sidecar. <laughs> we should each rent one <laughs> and go racing around. What if we just tell them we'll come back and volunteer? Cheers, everybody. Anybody want to fire one up? It's been a while. Jojo was right. My, my THC levels were low. They were low. That's why you didn't want to go around the back and see all those cool posters that were telling him how to make foxholes and stuff. We went to three stores. Was it only three? No, it <laughs> it felt like, like a million. It felt like all the it stores. It felt like a million. It felt like every possible store possible. Surf dog. Hey, surf dog. What up? Anybody want to fire one? Uh, I, oh, I'm seeing fire evergreens in chat. Hell yeah. So I'm smoking on some live resin from XJ13, which is a Jack Herrera and G13 cross. So some old school sativa hybrid. This shit sent me into a panic attack the other night. Oh, good, good choice to, to do on stream. 
Panic attack incoming. <laughs> Vista. Oh yeah, Vista here. Vista, Jim P, Angel's Wings, all here for the smoke break. I love it. Kathy's in the smoke break too. You know Shed Gang is too. Oh, Surf yeah. Dog out here smoking it up. Vista. I love the idea of renting one of those scooters. Next time. Next time. We're renting we two of them, Jojo. Yeah, You're not renting... putting me in the basket. Okay, fine. Not putting me in the freaking basket. Mm. Yeah, I just, I went, it was like uh, Angel's Wings. It was a awake and bake. And I had just got the cart, so I was like, mm. And then I had to get ready for work, and I was like, what did you do? But being off, I think it's okay. Robot Andy! We're going to have to run around the plane section, guys. Sorry, shh. Be quiet, she's tuning it. Surf dogs popping 200 millis. Damn. Damn, surf dog. You maniac. You gosh darn maniac. Vlad, thanks for coming in. Have a great afternoon. Appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, thanks, Vlad. Always great seeing you. Uh, everybody check out Vlad's channel. Friend him up on PlayStation. He's got a Minecraft server. Mm-hmm, yep. Medieval While Minecraft server. While he's here, server. you're going to want to click on that little profile pic and check it out. He's got some cool worlds going on. I wish I knew who requested Stormy Monday, but I don't. And I'm definitely still, like, this has some new stuff that I've never done before. So Why it's actually really joking? so exciting. It's my first, my first blues Shh. number. They're listening. Shh. I'm paranoid. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't even blow out his hit yet. <laughs> this okay. is trouble. This is some don't, real trouble. Don't play too loud. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is still a work in progress. Styles Blues, turn your volume up. But man, this one was so fun to learn. This one was so fun to learn. I was getting addicted to it. Like it was hard for me to quit and make dinner. I was, it was just really awesome. Forty some minutes after midnight. It's not. It is. It's nine hours ahead. Like maybe to bed. Like, yeah. like maybe he's running to bed. That would be my yeah. guess. I think that's just a saying. That's where I'd be. I don't think he's really going to run. I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see how this goes.
won't you bring her back to me? <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> Good one, Joe. <laughs> a little bit bluesy, my first kind of, and really like moving the bar chords up and down the neck. That's the first time I've ever done that, and it's been it's been a workout that was awesome. uh, for my wrist for sure. And I did kind of mess it up there towards the end. I don't know exactly how, but this is like this part is so fun. So this was something I heard randomly on YouTube the other day. I don't even know who it was, if it's a good source of information or not. But he said a lot of people when they're trying to do bar chords or whatever, try to hold it in the middle between the frets. Oh. Whereas if you actually mash it on onto the fret you want, it makes it so you don't have to press as hard. And it But aren't you getting like a I mean, it's a little different, you know, but yeah, that does, I mean, the I thing know, that, that but... I learned when I actually shout out Old Mechanic learning, um, a B chord in, uh, what's that song called? Uh, what's up? I was always trying to do it like flat on my finger like that, which I can actually do now. Um, but if you roll it over to the bony part of your finger just a little bit. Which uh, Cynthia Lynn music uh, talk has talked about that, but I just kind of discovered it, and then I saw her say it, and I was like, yes, yes, that's like, what you want to do. That's what you have. I mean, when you're learning, I feel like it's like the only way to play a bar chord, or it was for me. And now, like with the sliding, it's you can't. I. I'll start on the bony part and then as I slide it goes to the middle so that's why like up up here like when I slide all the way up I'm getting right in the middle so that's why I'm not getting like completely good sound on it so I'm definitely still working on doing that but it's a lot of fun it was awesome yeah should we head back Thanks, in my everybody. THC levels are nice yeah good Woo. Nice and to where he needs to do some shit. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sativa. <laughs> oh my gosh. We Viva did, he gave me a last night and I was Viva wired Sativa. Up. Viva Sativa. Sorry. It would be nice to learn three songs and do a blues night someday. Three blues songs. Stormy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Goldie. Goldie Cub. Happy Stormy even... Monday. Okay. Viva Sativa. Look Viva at you. Sativa. Look at sad side of the truck. He's fogging it up. And then look at my side. I got... He's wearing a coat. Them's cold hands. He's only wearing it for the pockets. Obviously. What up? Goldie, thanks for coming in. We did an early stream today, if you haven't guessed yet. If you haven't noticed that we did a little bit of an early stream today, we did a little early stormy Monday stream. I had to come out and get my levels right. It was a little, I had to get, come out and get my levels right. Yeah. Shout out Goldie for making sure sad levels are right. Yeah. He always, he's always uh, keeping an eye on the levels for you. Boy. Yeah, it's supposed to be 20 degrees tonight, Goldie. 20 Stormy degrees. Monday. Supposed to snow and everything. Woo -hoo. Do -do 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 -do. Let's find some more stuff I can touch and hide behind. Yeah, let's find. They just got a new addition. There's a new, one of the first commercial airplanes. Oh, okay. This is a 1907 motor car manufacturing company runabout. That's like, so the steam engine one was called a runabout. So this one is the electric version of that. This is a 1910 brush runabout. That one can go through the brush. Oh my God, like, 
Leather license plates. I wouldn't even fit in it, but I've never wanted to sit in something more. She loves sitting in little stuff, guys. It's weird. She got like this thing about wanting to sit like, in some little stuff. Like I want to sit things. on that bike. Wouldn't I be cute sitting on that bike, everybody? Uh, Goldie Cobb says, "Silly me, I thought we were going to listen to Steam Powered Airplane." Man, I feel like I want to put that one on JoJo's list. I do love that. John Hartford's amazing. That is awesome. 1928 Maytag model 92. Hit Miss Motor. Wow. That is awesome. Made for Maytag washing machines from August 1927 through August 1937 and built in June 1928. Motor type is two cycle. Fuel is gas oil with a ratio of 16. Miles. Robot, did you see that? It's a surfboard or a kiteboard on gas powered wheels they adapted a washing machine motor for that that looks like they adapted a washing machine motor as well studebaker jr another thing i want to sit in jojo wants to sit in it guys 1900 horse-drawn doctor buggy doctor buggy he's got a fishing pole thing that's <laughs> not a fishing pole baby it's a carrot stick thing no that's a whip oh it would be a lot nicer if you just let him with a carrot. <laughs> Gosh. I, I agree. This is a 1900 Excelsior carriage, Dr. Buggy. His whip goes right in there. His carrot stick goes right there. That's right where the carrot stick goes. Yeah, I'm going to try to whip that whip. <laughs> it's made out of, like, nylon. It's not even... That first one, huh? That one's styly. Yeah, it's beautiful. Ooh, old tool, old record player. My mom had one of these. It didn't work. Oh, uh, uh, Victor. Victorian. Oh, that's where you put the records, I guess. Cool. Victor. Victor. Victorian. Victrola. Lots of Vicks going on there. Va, 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 va. Oh, you are not one solid piece, Carousel Horse. Yeah, we found out about you, we Carousel. Found out about you and all your little parts and pieces. There's like 24 pieces here There's all like sealed up. Lots of different pieces put together right here. Shout out, Wyoming. <laughs> Did you see what Doug uh, said? We need to rent a kid. <laughs> Yeah. It, <laughs> oh, we, we we have the perfect little redhead that yeah. could come hang out with you, us, and he. Yeah, we could. Well, he's a little big for that. Have, man, yeah. he's big now. I know. I haven't seen him in so long. He's big. Emily's too big for that stuff too. Model T Speedster, 1919. I like the double seat in that one. That looks like a comfy ride. That is cool. There's so many little the poor, things that you can miss. The poor passenger just gets all the bugs in the face. Oh yeah, we didn't, oh man, that is unfortunate, <laughs> but amazing. The driver. That was an add-on too. It's like a they were like, thing, they were like, oh yeah, you know. Uh, 1907. I thought that, I thought that said special. moon pie for a second. <laughs> yeah. You probably won't catch us renting any children. Any You're, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't read that next comment. <laughs> Dang it. Too late. 1928 Belly Mono Coupe 70. Only the test of time brings out these facts. What facts does it bring out? For the aviation, for the aviation enthusiast who is young of age or young at heart, during the golden age of aviation, it is not an exaggeration to say decades later that they were fortunate witnesses to a Camelot, idyllic period of aviation. This romance with aviation, influenced by the colorful and unique aircraft and magnificent dirigibles of the period, dirigibles, deep dirigibles, man, that would be a good hangman word, D-I-R-I-G-I-B-L-E-S. 
of the period was reinforced by many exciting Hollywood movies, aviation magazines, and photos of colorful aircraft. These visuals were complemented by action-oriented air shows, flying exhibitions, and air races. Hmm. Lots of them had really distinguished features, and they were really unique. Look at that. 1922 Veli Model 58 five passenger touring car. That back seat is lush. Styling. Yeah. Four butts in there. Four butts from 1922. Four 1922 butts. Probably only two 2022 butts. Look at this little thing. 1930 Long Henderson Longster. <laughs> it's a Longster. God, I love that name. Long, hey, Longster. The Long Harlequin. The uh, the marketing department was not r r developed yet. The original wooden engine case pattern from Les Long's workshop. The oh. Long Harlequin two-cylinder aircraft engine was made from Harley-Davidson JD engine parts. Long sold plans and cases for the public to make this engine. Wow! So they sold you a box? Yeah, they sold you a, a kit so you could make an airplane engine. This is a 1937 Funk B. Funk B. Shout out Funk B. What well, it has a... It has a 16-gallon tank. And wooden propellers. This is a 1936 Aaron F. Yep. He's talking about those car seats are so sick. I love that double seat. That's like fancy shit. This is a 1940 a Cessna, Cessna Airmaster. 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 Master. Mm. This is the body of a... ATC number 72 Cessna from 1929. A longtime favorite Sna Cessna was a sensitive beauty with an infectious quality. It has se seven cylinder engine. Performance was remarkable. Man, could you imagine flying these old planes? I can't imagine flying a new plane. Yeah, the upholstery on old stuff is just, or the, the, the new upholstery on it. 1939 Porterfield. I thought it was going to say Potterfield, and I was going to say, shout out Ava and Doug. Yeah. Just replace that R with the T, and you have the name that you should search to find Ava and Doug Potterfield. They do music, and they're really awesome people. Yes, indeed. Also, chats and crafts. 1929? Inland Sport. What? That looks like it's blowing exhaust, like, all in your face. Yeah. That's why pilots in, like, the early days were, like, soot covered. That's why they were covered in soot. Yep. Guys, we're figuring things out here. It's so cool the way they They had all these engines blowing. Sorry. Imagine trying to clean your windshield, keep your windshield clean. <laughs> they're putting, they're wooden propellers, but they're putting these guards on them. That's uh, smart. Goldie, I had it the whole first tour, the whole first half of the tour, and then I got stoned and left it because I was paranoid that I'd do that. What was it? Yeah, he said take, he said take a pin rip inside. You should, you could have at any time. Oh, now I could look, have, but now look at his eyeballs. He's don't, don't stoned look at me. Shit, don't Goldie. look at me. Don't Goldie, look he's at me. stoned as shit. Stop looking at me. This is a Model T Speedster, <laughs> and it is beautiful. That's got those double. Oh, but I knew I'd be tempted those. too, so I was like, mm. ah, those light. Ooh, talk beautiful. about upholstery. The U. Ding. Ding. Joe, 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 Joe. There are <laughs> cameras, Joe. You oh, just want to sit in it. Seat so bad. It I don't know if it, I, I, it's made for an adult person. Is it? Is it really? It's not. Look, they're little people. I mean... Let's get in it. Do, 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 do. I don't care what you do. You break it, you bought it. I fit. <laughs> 
Clip Look, it. I fit perfectly. Look. Okay. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> I was on my sit like my butt only went all the way to the pedal. That's fine. That's a perfect fit. Oh man. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Nick it. <laughs> it's shut, Wookie. It's shit. You gotta say that like shit. You can't say shut. It's shit. shit. Look at how this window works. No, Jojo. If you uh, like pull it. I don't wanna look at it. And then it's locked. You're freaking me out, man. Man, I want to pull up that window <laughs> real bad. See, that one's on submission today. Uh, Dove season, this this is why we can't take anybody anywhere. Uh, I'll tell you later. Sorry, Dove season. Jojo. Jojo. This is why we can't take anybody anywhere. Look at this. It sands promised soft landings. What is that? the secrecy. The guarded rights demand. Can I see? Those white seats were awesome. Gosh dang, fire. XJ. Why are you paranoid for all this? XJ13, live resin carts, northwest uh, kind. It's going to come around, it's going to shine on us. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I wonder trouble. why. We're in trouble for sitting in the little sidecar seat. You should have sat in the other seat. We no. would have been so cute together. You're insane. Alright, we got it. She's crazy. 1939. Did you? Yeah, right? Oh, a glider. What? How would anybody sit in there? Oh. No, she's going to find out. Oh my god. I I'm out of here, guys. I'm leaving. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think she knows that I'm leaving. Okay. Here, you better show them the skinny butt. People have much skinnier butts in the 20s and 30s. Look at this. Oh, I need, you need some reference. Like my hand. Can almost gap that. And then look how low down the seat is. It's like your head would just be popping up right there. That's amazing. Is that doing something? We got, we got, we got company. That's normal. That's normal. Okay, let's come over this side. 1951. There are no people. Teddy <laughs> Dismar. Condor. He's like, I see what you're doing. I have you guys on my cell phone. I'm watching you. I'm this, right behind you. Uh, yeah, exactly. This one's wider. You could fit a normal size butt in that one. I'm right behind you guys. Hey, Rebel, now just the, ditch the mask. Oh, yeah. I, I have been when I need to read stuff. These are sport gliders. That's a long way over there. There's no bridges on this river. No bridges on this river. I noticed Carl's increasing frustration working for him. No, I don't. Come on. I knew he was going to say that. I guess I can't make anyone else. I want to press on. They have some great channels. Beard update. Did you give a beard update? I did. It's all smushed up. It's just beardy. Show it. Here, I'll show it. I did. I, I just did. Oh, you gave it. Okay. <sighs> this wooden glider, man. Uh, and that's fabric right there, the little panels. I see you, boy. I see you, boy, scoping us. I see, I, I know, I know, That's I know what to do. That's very cool, man. That ain't nervous for you. <laughs> <laughs> Heart race increasing. Miss Southern Belle. This must be for grabbing. Nope. 
Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's, that's for grabbing Miss Southern Bell, right? Why would you have that? What is that for? That's the tow. That's how they tow them. Oh. Maybe. What kind of noise is that? It's a oh, noise. Oh, that air machine again. This is a giant wooden airplane here, a wooden glider. They do a lot of gliding around here. <laughs> Wookie, Ro Ronald uh, very kindly insists that you become a mod, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Imagine flying without an engine, right? Sounds sketchy. Yeah. Let's see, we got anything going on out here? Emergency exit only. <laughs> Jojo is doing photo shoots over here. Oh, because the air? Yeah, I don't think it's obviously. working as good as you think it's it not. is. It's not. It feels like it's blowing it a lot. It's not. Dang it. Maybe a little bit. Didn't you see the way it blew it over my face? This is how you pack your, your motorless <laughs> airplane. This is a packed up airplane. Hell yeah, to be no problem. Air toe. Air toe. <laughs> Who would tow her? Not Excuse tow, T-O-E, tow, T-O-W. <laughs> Who bought this fool? <laughs> oh, he did mean tow, T-O-W. <laughs> Strike a pose. You guys ready to fly? You guys got this. It's all you. Yeah. It's the Grant Donaldson from 1928. Drive we'll safe. Don't forget to put your upper and left and your right and your oil yeah, and fly. your motor and your engine things and your, your mag. Don't forget your mag boost and uh, your, your map box will be on your right hand side. <laughs> Look at the skinny buddy passenger compartments. We can all fly together. Oh, we're going to scoot in there? Yeah. And we have a phone of our own. And look, there's two seats. You didn't, you didn't mod Wookie yet? M Wookie doesn't want mod. Oh. Ronald wants mod for <laughs> Wookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Wookie, this this is a mod. new this is a new tough decision. I don't even know what to do Wookie, other than ignore it. Word and we'll mod you. We gotta <laughs> let the, each person make their own decision for mod. Sorry, Ronald. We That's a beef. Ya. The American. Oh, is this that? This might be the new one. I kind of want to get in the plane. That started today. the um, the American Railway Express. I mean, it wouldn't. Riveted goodness. They actually fly these. They like actually fly these. It's pretty insane. Get I like in that the they plane. have cars intermingled with the planes. That's a nice, that one's nice and blacked out. Almost, not quite blacked out, but <laughs> that's style. Oh, John Susan says, seriously, be good. Someone <laughs> is, no, yeah, I, we got I a tail. Okay. That little seat was one thing, and I really didn't put Look that at much it. That's what she would look like if she did. I really didn't put that much weight that, on it. It looks yeah. like JoJo. Dove Seasons, Dove Seasons feels your, uh, is your that, is that JoJo? rule following. Miss Southern Belle, I don't even think I said hi to you because I was sitting in that seat. Hello. Because she's been goofing. I was goofing. She's been being she's been wild. I wasn't being a wild goofer. Hello. They are. Oh. Yeah. Somebody named Dove saw what you were doing and said oh. you need to hydrate. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Stop it. Cheers. And we forgot our water in the truck. And too. Jojo, you saw that Jojo forgot her water. Uh, oh my goodness. That is flipping. No, that, we just wanted to keep. 
out of a seat. <laughs> <laughs> someone's coming. People no, like, seriously, I'm someone is coming. That. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that is the best. Oh, that is that so is hilarious. Dove season, you are amazing. That is awesome. I promise Dove. I'm not. Dove season, I promise. So let me look at him and be. Let, let me look at him and and so and what you were doing. Dove season, I promise I won't sit in any more seats. If I see a horn, I might honk it, but I won't sit in any more seats, I promise. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Busted, Jojo. He, that is he, awesome. He saw what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> message, message delivered. That is amazing. Bet no water. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? A stream sniper, uh, Wookie. That is beautiful. That <laughs> is a moment. They just of... stuff, stuff stuff everywhere. This is not easy. I'm not <laughs> money wandering. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's the new one. I kind of want to skip over to it, even though this one's really cool looking. What time is it? Stay hydrated isn't a meme. It's not. Do it. Paper planes, fabric planes. Yeah, Rob Q, I was thinking about it, but I just promised Dove Season Scripted. I would sit in any more seats, so. <laughs> that I, you know, I, I not. <laughs> S-C-R-I-P-T-E-D. But yeah. it's a good, a good call. S-C-R-I-P-T-E-D. Yeah, S-C-R-I-P-T-E-D. Woo! That's, those are my really stellar cheerleading moves. You heard it here first, folks. That's not a museum. Who said that? That was funny too. <laughs> I don't want to wait. <laughs> but Ronald told him, behave. <laughs> behave yourself. Yeah, be, yeah. Be, behave. Uh, this is the one. Look, the, this is your plane. Uh, I promised I wouldn't sit uh, in any more seats, but you didn't promise uh, anything. Uh, what? Six. Saw what you were doing. Saw what you were doing. <laughs> she read it off the note. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my god, that's why he asked where we were. <laughs> Dove season. Amazing. <laughs> Stalls Blues rules. And if you guys didn't know, he has a really awesome channel with amazing blues videos i know i want that sad plane now i actually saw what you were doing Dang. man that's a beast look at will you tell us about oh it doesn't say much 1929 ford 5 atp tri motor tri motor it has three motors and it was three for colors it's huge Look at how, oh! It was a passenger. The, yeah, passenger plane. The luggage spot is so little. Oh, that is cool. Why did I promise I wouldn't sit in any seats? We need light. You got a flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> National Air Tour. Geronimo! Arango Diaz flew this airplane as a passenger in they should say he rode in the airplane in 19 in the 1930s. Whoa. And he had to put his seatbelt on while the plane was in motion. What's up with these like covers on the top? Are you supposed to put those on your head? For sleep? No. I want to see what's under there. Nothing. Just a headrest. Huh. Wow. It's not a very cushiony headrest. I cannot imagine. It gives me the creeps just being this far into it on the ground. Oh my god! I gosh. can't imagine being in the air in that thing. Yeah, and people probably felt so safe. They were like, this is the... It's like part Airstream, part chicken shed. Look at it. All aboard! It's for everybody. Okay, sad. 
dove season. We are going to need you to fly since uh, since you dream of having a seaplane. Okay. And then everybody else can get uh, in the back here. Yeah. You want more flashlight? No, I was just going to give everybody their seats. Okay, nice. That is crazy. It looks like oh, a chicken Lord. shed. Electronically streamed snipes. We really, really Oh, yeah, it's a Ford tri motor. Uh, Miss Southern Bell said you truly are a great cameraman. Hey, thanks, Miss Southern Bell. I appreciate that. Dove Season 91 is a fine American who makes sure that people don't disrespect property and stay hydrated. Yes. Thanks, Dove Season. So we had this extra house siding. So we thought we'd build something to ship people across the country in. The Southern Belt and Ronald uh, McDonald, I love your hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> we loved them so much we had to quit them. Shed Gang wants to be near the door with a parachute nearby as well. Oh my goodness, it gave me the heat. It was like the, the war part for JoJo. Oh, we gotta go around this way. There's this. I kind of want to look at this in case we don't make it back by. Look at this. Look at this thing. Uh, Dad said he likes that corrugated steel look. Imagine that on a hot rod. That would be really cool, that big corrugated uh, airplane on a hot rod. That would be awesome. I think it would make you faster, too. Oh, Shed Gang called Angel's Wings feet. Dang it. You can have the next closest to the door, Angel's Wings. Wild. Cur this is the 1910 Curtis Pusher. Because the propeller pushes you instead of propelling you. It's got like a little level on the side here. To it's tell you to read the pitch. Look at what it says on that. Experimental. Experimental. Do you want to try it out? You know, hundreds of feet in the air and see how it works out for you. Yeah, Vic, did you see, were you here for the electric bike? The electric bike was cool. Oh, one minute. One minute. Time to blaze it up, everybody. Fire him up out there. Dad didn't bring his pen because he was too paranoid. Because I was, yeah, Look lit. Real quick. It's hard. 1912 Indian Model D. That's a racist bike right there. You can't say. Well, it has, I don't think that. I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> what I can't joke? No, that's against. That's definitely oh. against you. <laughs> jokes are, jokes have been canceled. It's whenever anybody says to take something for a spin, they tell me to because they know it's not possible with you. But I might be convinced. <laughs> They're like, she would do something like that. We went like on that. a bicycle ride break. Nice. I mean, when we go to that, we could go. Zoom if we have enough time after we check out this section, we could zoom straight to it and show it to you. It's pretty cool. We got a Franklin Model D over there. We got a Ford Model T here, an ambulance. I like that bike too. I like the way the tank on it is all. Hey, around. nurse. Woo -hoo. 1909 Ooh la la. Franklin Model D. Model D. Model D. Franklin. Model D. Now you really could fit Model like D. two butts in the back of that thing. That is a, and it has the double seat. Okay, at first I thought this thing, it rode like this, but that's the hood up. Yeah. Got it. That thing is awesome. Oh, look at that. There, no, 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 Honey, no, no. show no, him the horn. No, no. You'll have to ask for assistance if you want to do it. We promised. I promised I wouldn't send me. I same, said. same thing. Same I thing. Same, same, thing. Same, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. No, Jojo. Jojo. Come on. Come on. Oh. Don't laugh. Did you see that guy honk that horn? Who did that? I only see I only see airplanes around here. That was the coolest sounding. I only see airplanes. You oh, can't, dove season encouraged me. You, you, can't, you, you can't honk, you can't honk an airplane. <laughs> you can't honk an airplane. 
Well, I mean, I beg to differ. But... <laughs> <laughs> Jojo says, I beg to differ. Oh, oh. Wings. <laughs> Angel's wings. It's Angel's wings. Oh, look at the color. Oh, I thought it was a color fade, but that glass is just so old that it's colored. That it is, might just be a little tinted. It might be just a little tinted, but it might be so old that it's colored too. Old glass gets a blue hue to it, which is incredible. <laughs> Okay, where? I have no idea. There's so many airplanes let's, everywhere. So, let's go back and forth on this spot. Over. Let's go all the way and back and forth to here. And okay. And can come back and do that. Deal. Tell us what you know about this. This is a rotary airplane engine. Feel free to rotate the model above to see its action. Finally. Ugh. How's that feel? Oh, yeah. I want to rotate the real thing real bad. <laughs> This one feels. This one feels so good. Imagine if you did that one. I do it like the wheel of fortune, or what is that called? The, the, the wheel. Price is right. I'd get on it like this, and I'd go, and then it would spin. It would be one of those where you just waiting and waiting and waiting for it to stop. <laughs> she was sniffing on the bottle. No, that's just JoJo. That's sober Jojo. She's high spirited. Yes, I'm high spirited. <laughs> a few motorcycles and cars were built with rotary engines, but its greatest success was an airplane before the before and during World War II. <laughs> oh, dang! I wonder, would it go backwards if you spun it that way? Should we join the tour? I don't think that's a tour. And no. He knows a lot about airplanes for it not being a tour. What's this? This is a maximum machine gun. <laughs> that's what it does. You were looking at the machine gun, not at me, dang it. I was looking at you a little bit. <laughs> Machine gun sounds. I was not making machine gun face. <laughs> I know. Run, run, run. Ah, e, ah, uh, never join the tour. No. Think of the cocaine these planes would earn and transport, Ronald. Man. Hey, nobody would ever suspect you if you were in a 1920s airplane. <laughs> if I had to guess, I would say. But. <laughs> Dove season when I on tour and said. Just say it was a little guy wearing a hoodie and he ran that way. <laughs> He's been Davic, flying around here on a, on a hoodie. said it's a hog free zone. <laughs> it, I agree. Okay, uh, 1937 Aronco. We looked at this. Did we look at this? No way, Jose. Yeah, we couldn't have. But we're going this way and doing this section. We still have 35 minutes. I think we're... We I haven't seen... Like, I think we have the perfect amount of time for checking out this whole museum. Let's go. Go team. All right. 1945 Aronka. 7AC champion. That's yeller. That's a yeller plane. 1930s Manasco 50 horsepower engine. We make our own tour. We're Strum's disciples. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can we start a plane, Frank said? <laughs> Boom. That one car had a key in it, and I still said never join the tour. <laughs> Do the propellers move? I doubt it, Frank. Fancy Beechcraft biplane, I mean, like, biplane. Yeah, no, biplane. they don't, Frank. Frank confirmed propellers do not move. Which biplane. makes sense because they're propelled by a motor. So it would be fixed unless the motor was running. I missed the biplane. Do you see a biplane? Oh, I do see a biplane. We're going to go back and forth and yep, get to it. This is... Ra the rotating momentum of the radial engine proved it to be a tr 
tricky plane to fly in the software. But pro pilots knew how to take advantage of the radial characteristics. Very interesting. Oh, was he saying, Was is Ronald saying, come on to, to do the propeller? Uh, we are Strum's disciples. Oh, Miss Southern Bell of trains more than planes. To Piers Henchman. <laughs> this plane will carry this much kilos of cocaine. <laughs> Look at that. I like that. That one looks like the bat plane. Frank said it seems like it would take a whole day to see everything. Frank, I think we're going to see everything. No. I mean, it, not really. Well, yeah. Not I mean, in we take it in. we kind of skim over some stuff. This is a 1931 a side. This one has like a little up uppity nose. You think you're better than me, airplane? You think you you're better think so? than me? little uppity nose. Ooh, this is like a Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Ranger. Fairchild. Oh, it's a Hellraiser because it's spiky. I got you. It's being restored. Oh, yeah, because it's spiky. It's real spiky. Real spiky. Oh, Miss Southern Bell was saying she likes to take trains more than planes. Look at the Beechcraft biplane. We're gonna do that. That's on the, in the next next row. Oh, but we didn't look at. Did we look at this side? Nope. We got a Chevrolet Outlaw 1927 <laughs> dirt tra dirt track racer. That's bad. What's the tip You're giving jar for? Giving yourself away, Shed Gang. Mo mo money mo money. Yeah, it's for donations. <laughs> it's true, Davik. He said this is the kind of museum where the Titanic would be parked in if it didn't sink. <laughs> and Chet Gang said 2.205 pounds is a kilo, and he's really showing his cards with that statement. Uh, thanks so much. So, Miss Southern Bell said she has to go. She's got a lot to do today. She has to draw some things for her channel. Oh, heck yeah. Thanks so much and for coming check in. Her giveaway for ladies and wives. I saw it, the bag full of awesome stuff. I almost commented for JoJo, but she'll get in there and comment. I yeah. should comment anyway, but yeah, I saw I was, the vid. It looks like an awesome giveaway. It. I saw it. I was like busy doing something and I saw it and like started watching it and then couldn't, but I was planning on coming back and checking it out. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Southern Bell. We love you. Let's give Miss Southern Bell air hug. Okay, your turn. Oh yeah, both of us. Sorry, don't move. Group hug. For Miss Southern Bell, we love you, Miss Southern Bell. <sighs> Don't worry, I I didn't sneak it, sneak it on anybody, but yeah, I did. Isn't have you ever had that happen to you, where you're hugging somebody and they go to kiss you on the cheek and they kiss you on the neck? People typically <laughs> just don't we didn't kiss do that. me. We didn't do that, Miss Southern Bell. So Look at worry. that one. But thank Tell you us so about much. this you're one a little bit. Human being, Miss Southern Bell, we appreciate you a lot. So this is a 1929 Mono Coach. Built August 29th by Mono Aircraft. The only one of 22 built. The only one of 22 built. It's the only, it's the only one, one left. left, I'm guessing. 235 horsepower. Eight year restoration. Dang. Uh, referred to in early literature as the sister ship to the spirit of St. Louis. Huh. Stalls is trying to time himself out in here. He's had enough of himself. Love you, Ron. Thanks for being here. Yeah. You're so awesome and positive Much and wonderful love. all the time. And they said learning the metric system would never pay off. <laughs> Dump season said to Shed Gang. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that plane has mono. <laughs> It's been uh, stuff. That dang monoplane. Yeah, what if he needed to time himself out, dang it? Stupid. Is this a beach craft? It smells like perfume. Wait, this isn't a beach craft. Oh, wait. That's an engine. Is this a beach craft? Peepin! This... Hi! Peepin! I think, I think Sad's trading me for 
one of them around it's here the one somewhere. with the big gun and little seat yeah it has a big gun and a little seat <laughs> <laughs> peeping thanks for coming yeah. in um this is not this is the by wing i saw oh is that the beach craft next one or this one oh there's so many little by wings around here we got a Lincoln Page LP3 1928. <laughs> People Thanks. said Lol Jojo never. <laughs> never. Never in reality. Not for a million little guns with, or big guns with little seats. Did we miss? Or is. Are you talking about the one with the bike? Datvik. You're gonna have to guide me, Datvik. The biplane? Cause this is, I mean, biplane means it has two, right? So these are all biplanes. That's what I, yeah, that's what I've been thinking. I think. The swallow. It looks, it looks like, like a, a bird. It's birdie. How cool. 1927. And it even has a paint job like wings. That's real cool. A beach craft, but it's nice seeing the tiger moth biplane. A beach craft. We'll see. We're going to see everything, so we'll see if they have a beach craft. We okay. did this half. We did. So let's go ahead and... And, then, and we did, did we do that row? We didn't do this over here, I think. Yeah, or the, like, we need to do that whole section right Yeah, there. so should we go to the end and do it to the middle? Yeah. Did this we, end. We did this? Yeah. Are these the sea no, I think they might be over here. Okay. All right. Man, we only have this, like, oh, we didn't do there either, right? So let's so go. That's what I was saying. Go to the end here and do it well, let's do all the way back. And let's go way back. So in, in case we have time to check out that electric bike, we got this. Okay. Because we'll be right back where the entrance to it is. You know what you're talking about. And we have 25 who's minutes the, before we have to be hidden behind a plane. Who's the Pablo Escobar up in here? We could spend all night in here. We need to get snacks. This, this, uh, this reminds me of the Clampets. 1928 Ford Model A Roadster pickup truck. The off-white one is a beach craft. Is this? This is the first van life. Or the first, uh, this is the first right here. Look at all that stuff he's got. the Clampets. Yeah, their washing machine. He said it's the off white biplane, is the Beechcraft. Did you remember an off white one? Back there? Of the Beechcraft. Is this it? It wasn't the one that said experimental? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Dotmick, I don't know. But there's lots of biplanes here we're gonna see. The business, oh, the the big one? Not that one. Not the chicken shed looking one. A business class biplane. Is that? Oh, that one? There's some biplanes down here. Maybe we didn't go down this row. This is a bi a big old big old biplane. Big old bi the bull steerman. Bull steerman. Thank you, Ronald. Hey, we thanks for hanging out. We yeah. appreciate it. We've definitely been wanting to come back here and do a more thorough checkout. Yeah. We like going places. It's been, it's been a great motivation to go check out things that we haven't checked out before. And this is this is a, a redo. Our first time we came very ill prepared. We did not believe enough time. We only had like an hour, so we like ran through it. This is a 1931 Steerman. And I feel like we're still running through it, but we're doing a better run through. Oh, yeah. What's this? Oh, this is the gas truck. We've been here. Dang it. Is this... But I don't think we can. This is a Boeing. The Alley. That's a big old Boeing. So not the raggedy looking early biplanes. So it's a nicer, a nicer <laughs> biplane. Not the experimental biplane. Yeah, not that one. Let's go, we can go back down this way. 
Not to Ollie, because there are other biplanes here. I like the wings on that one. That one does have a really cool yeah. wingspan. Just the look of it, it's like all like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like this. To ever make fat bottom cupcakes ever. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> Amen to that. Uh, Shout out fat so bottom, cool. fat bottom cupcakes. <laughs> Too nice though. Too nice. Oh, you got, you got windows when you're on this bad boy? Yeah, double time. It's Everybody wild. has a window. Everybody's got that windows. Right there. Then they started putting double seat, triple, quadruple seat. This is a Spearman. We got biplane. Oh, there's a fire thing here and there. Oh, let's go ask this guy where we can find a beach craft. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Side mission. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a second. There is a Beechcraft business line airplane here. In that back left corner was a Beach 18. Okay. And that would have been the next step up from a stagger wing. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. McMinnville. McMinnville. McMinnville has awesome. Okay, Thank you so go. much. Thank you. Okay. Back to oh, we're not going to go to the. We're going to see it last. Along with the electric bike. Okay. I don't know if we have that much time. 20 minutes. Okay. Time. Here we go, guys. Because we just have to go down that aisle. Um, Mission clock is ticking. We only have this little section. These are by plane. Davix says, I just saw it. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's weird. Jojo. What are those? This is the squeaky section. This is a Curtis Wright travel area. I like the colors on that one. Stalls need some gosh darn fat bottom cupcakes. Oh man. Right? Don't we all? It's got good acoustics in here. Which model 7? 1930. That's a nice looking. Look at him just flying a plane like, like it's normal and stuff. Can Roger catch him? He will. Even if he has to kiss the pylons. Here they go on the field. Uh, we're running out of time. We need to grab a couple bikes to get around <laughs> faster. Genius! Just th throw money at him. Genius! 1928 Travel Air 4000. Now that is beautiful. Look at this. Stay, like chrome. In 1928, they had a chrome propeller. How fancy is that? Ooh. That seat right there is lucky, I promised Doug Stephen I wouldn't sit on it. I mean, look how it looks like it would perfectly contour your butt. Excuse me, I don't think we have enough time. Can we borrow your scooter? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hear me. <laughs> Tell us. Wings of Progress. 1930 Laird. More, more chrome propellers. 1935 Waco. Somewhere they have the plane that, uh, oh man, what was that? Don't they have the Amelia Earhart plane? No, I don't think so. Oh, for some reason I thought, Maybe they just have a replica of it. No, I don't know. Oh, no, what it was. Maybe it's over there. Like, the first woman flyer. Like, she was a rich woman. Pilot? And she, yeah, pilot. Was flyer. it this lady? Flyer. No. That's just a suitcase. But these are all lady things. I wonder if... These are all lady things. 
Behind oh, the blue biplane. Oh no. Is this oh, is the blue biplane? Right there. And that's a and that's a creamy colored one. Let's go look at that one. Look at this one real quick. This is an army plane, army biplane. 1917. He's like, no, wrong way, turn around. <laughs> that is awesome. That horn is loud. Everyone. This would be right about where I would have said he would have said The guy it. that honked it went that way. Yep, haven't seen him. He was on some kind well, of... We saw him when he honked the horn and then we haven't seen him. He was on some kind of motor vehicle. Yeah, definitely motor vehicle. This, is this it? That's a Waco. Wacko. 1933? Wacko. You're wacko. Dead. Is that it, Dad? What? What are those? Ah. You're squeaking. Barely. This one, this one's all murdered out. A Wallace Turr plane. Turr. Ooh. I'm gonna leave Jojo by the beach craft. That's the one he had in mind. Okay, that's what I thought. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, Peep and I don't know if you were here the first time we did this, but I wore brand shoes that had brand new um, traction, and it was like every step I took was louder than that. Where was the electric bike? Should we do that? Uh, <laughs> of course, Gatwick. That thing is amazing. That is beautiful. I love the like red teardrop things around it. Let's get a nice tip, the, tip to tip. Look at the way the the lower part has like little ridges. That's interesting. I wonder if that helps it fly faster. Lincoln. I like this little olive green on the propeller. This one has a cool paint job. It does have a nice propeller. Look at it. It spewed oil all over the windshield. Oh. Good luck seeing out of that. What if it was a bird? Yeah, bird poop. Yeah, Waco wins again, taking first prizes in the season's major events. Okay, so maybe they don't have seaplanes. Did we see a single seaplane? Yeah, back over that way. In the other section? Yeah, the one the, oh. where the planes are having sex. That's right. Is that where the electric bike is too? Yeah. Shout out to the fishermen. So we can go see that electric bike and then we can go down this Dang way. It. Go all the way to the end and hide behind the plane. Dang. Man, somebody's got some really strong perfume. I can't smell Oh, it's so strong. Should we get out of here? Should we just no, dip? If you weren't here earlier, this is a real tangle pulled from a river near here. Pulled from the river like that. That's what that's that's what's going on in there where they fishing. Okay. Electric bike pipe. Sure you can. Yeah. Oh man. I can't crazy. imagine. I'm getting banned for life. I'm glad they don't take down your name. You're out of here, Jojo. Baby me, baby no. It's a little okay, teeny it's one. All the way back over there. Okay. <laughs> that was it. A... <laughs> you keep walking. <laughs> you keep walking. You walking forward again. <laughs> there's some there's some there's your biplane or your ocean planes oh yeah the floor back here is much squeakier some floaters they really polished the shit out of this spot here we go naked lady <laughs> you couldn't see it said naked lady on that biplane Ooh. that's a good name for a plane yeah
pontoon. Yeah. I remember you seaplanes. Somebody took this one fishing. You probably scare away the fish pretty bad. Okay. There it is, Chapman. It's a little leaky, but. Wait, this is cool. not electric, but this is real cool. Oh, it's gas. Was there an electric one? No, but he likes gas ones better, I think. That's, yeah, I meant gas powered. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Datvik said, man, this is the largest Goodwill store I've ever seen. No squeaking allowed. They have cameras. Squeak me, don't squeak me. This is a folding scooter. <sighs> Bruh. I mean, they did electric cars. This is new, I think. In like 1930. This is a 1978, yeah. Oh, 78. New ish. Only like 60 years old or something. Watch out. Oh, can we borrow your scooter? We don't have enough time to see this. <laughs> 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 Gas tank. That probably gets you like 100, 200 Bruh. Dude, so here's the here's the here's the here's the investment. You buy this, you put everything in there, you need to clean bongs really well, and you just roll up on people's houses and sell your services of bong cleaning. <laughs> they just bring them in, they just bring them out. Yep. Bong cleaning service. Bong cleaning. I love it. it he's until, an innovator. That's that's the next that's the next step. Dove season's gonna get the nice lady to bring me some leather moccasins. <laughs> stop squeaking! Stop squeaking! Stop squeaking! Stop squeaking! Stop squeaking! <laughs> we both need one of those. Uh, yeah, with the motor. That's good stuff. <laughs> Recycle resin service. Now you're talking. There you go. Oh, man. You can turn everybody's resins into edibles oh. and feed it back to <laughs> would it be to break this thing out and ride it around this place we need to get we need to get on the volunteer tip here yeah because you could probably right but yeah they do. definitely yeah they do look at this look at this penguin training plane this is for training another trainer yeah that's cool it's the yeah, I know I had one catching I caught it out of the corner of my eye and I was like yeah. had to double take real quick I have a question yeah. if we became a volunteer could we ride that double bike I don't think so no you don't think so no I don't think so if you become a volunteer you can cruise around on the scooters <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to. that's a pretty good gig though what about like can you sit in the seats? So, I mean, they have like every month there's like a car thing where they get a whole bunch of these cars out and you can go for rides, but that's open to the public. Okay. And every month uh, there's, I don't know if there's an airplane thing every month. I kind of don't think there is. There is a fly in every year where they do, you can get in planes and you can see planes, you can ride in planes and stuff. And I think there might be. I just started volunteering, so I don't really know. I mean, there might be some opportunities to sit in things or, you know, ride in planes. Because we kind of really would like to sit in the passenger airplane, wherever that thing is. I don't know where I'm at. Right Which now. airplane? That, the new one. The, the Ford Trimotor. Yeah. Oh well, they're gonna be they're gonna be uh, flying it this summer with tours up and down the gorge. Oh, that's Crazy. awesome. Crazy. That. Local. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. So, um, I don't know, like, what the details are on that. Um, That's awesome. You, you <laughs> I, I was just like, it. I don't think I'd ever want to be in that thing. But now, but now I'm does. like, that, that'd know. be cool. I totally want to go for a ride in it. Um, I'm not a, a multi-engine pilot, so I'm sure they would let me fly it. But um, I know one of the guys who's, uh, he's a retired airline captain, and he's old enough that he actually flew big multi-engine tailwheel planes. 
but he's too old for their insurance, so he's going to be second in command. But I feel good about that because he's very experienced with flying those kinds of planes. Nice. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know. This summer, I guess. So, so you say when they take the cars out and you get to ride, and yeah. you get to drive them, or do only specific people? I think volunteers get. To drive. get to, see, that's where if you if you volunteer and you, you get in with like it. the car team, then you can get opportunities oh, okay. to actually drive some of these things. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So something to think about. Heck okay, yeah. <laughs> Good you. talking to you. You know he does. <laughs> on the plane wings. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's here so we can start the stream. Okay. Hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for stream coming started. in on Monday. We're here. We're checking out this museum. We're going to go outside because <laughs> it's about that time. <laughs> but thanks for joining us. Good to see you, Smuggler. That's so cool that you can ride in that plane. Now we kind of have to do that. I want to learn how to drive a Model T and then we can ride in that plane. Squad goals. Yeah. And it's so funny how they have the radiators just out in the world. <laughs> we smoked early, bro. Sorry, smug. We started so early. We and we didn't even we did. start on a 20. We started at didn't like Didn't tell anybody, just kind of went, we just did it. We were just like, we, we needed as much time here as we could get. Yep. And we have used just about every bit of it. Man, we did. We looked at everything. Like some of it was maybe a little faster than it could have been. But we really, uh, I think we got here early enough this time. So we have I need to. I need to learn more about this. So we got to hide behind a plane for Smuggler so that we can stay all night and check stuff out. Tell them. Okay, we didn't go down this. This is the one place we didn't go down. Cool. Little snow machine. Snow pony, it's called. I want a snow pony. Cooper Spur Ski Patrol Cart. That's so awesome. Look at this bad boy. Snow conversion kit. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Too early. It's all I know. We won't let it happen too much, Smug. Summers, we're getting more time. Show, show him everything now. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Look. Let's Shoot. Steal the Look here. Look there. I can't believe that guy didn't let us take his car. Okay. If anybody gets motion sick, so look away now. <laughs> look away. Headlight covers 1927 Ford Model T Speedster. Jed Gang wants a pony and a castle. I want a pony There's and a, a castle. Space with lots of question marks. I know, right? Some of this stuff it's like I cannot believe that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's a nice one. Don't show JoJo. Don't show JoJo. Come on. No, 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 no. JoJo, no, no, no. he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Like You're, busted. You're busted. You're busted. You're busted. You're busted. I was not going to honk that horn. I don't She's busted. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to sound a five minute alarm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> five minute alarm, everyone. That is an alarm that lets everyone know they have five minutes left. <laughs> They're like, don't ever let her volunteer. She's going to try to take over, guys. The yellow piper. Those, that's those ones. Let's go look at those. Oh, we got, oh, a, we got an orange, orange piper. piper. An orange piper. <laughs> Is it called a piper? Smuggler, it's been that kind of day. <laughs> it has been smug. Poor sad puts up with me. Hey, we found the sad. Uh-oh. That's the five minute alarm. Now that's the real five minute alarm. That's the somebody who's been honking horns alarm. 1939. A lot of Piper. 1940 Piper. Piper Nation. Tandem landing gear on that one. And even Tandem. Tandem landing gear. Piper Nation. Bring the five minute alarm, we'll worry about it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he was like, okay. 
Whatever you say. Ingles. Thanks for coming in, Ingles. I think I forgot to shout out Ingles earlier. This one's got the, the ski conversion. Just slap some skis on it. Teeny squirrel piper. <laughs> do you want to do a, a sing song outside or what do you think? Yeah. Your I fingers are cold. Yeah. You guys want to, you know, say goodbye to everybody in here. Do you want to do it in here? Or we can do it outside. We can go out. Let's go out to the truck. I want to smoke one with everybody. We can drink everybody. a little coffee, smoke yeah. one, say a nice... Nice, uh, Let's go hang out in the back. car for a second. What yeah. the? What Smuggler the heck? Just here. Bro, really is this work? Can I touch it? It used to have. Can I do that? No, it's taped off. Dang it. Is <laughs> this? Can we use this? Or is it just not an option anymore? It looks like there used to be a hole where you could switch the switch. Can I think... we not? Can we no longer switch the switch? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't okay. think so. Okay. The, the general policy is the look, don't touch. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm sorry. I honked, I honked horns. But how can you not honk a horn? Am I right? Have you honked a horn? No, don't honk a horn. Okay, don't. I won't honk a horn. You heard it here first, I folks. I not honk any horns. <laughs> if anybody <laughs> asked, there were no horns. The guy was in a hoodie and he went that way. That's right. So, yeah. Hey, the other guy told me I could. <laughs> self snitch, self snitching. We self snitching. I am a self snitcher from we way back. Oh, Jesse Jack. Thanks for coming in. Mad as hell. He's mad as hell. Oh, Frank said we must sing at once. <laughs> Everybody's mad. We gotta get out of here, guys. We're gonna look at that airplane. That looks dangerous. Did you see his disapproving look he gave me? <laughs> no, you cannot Hong Kong. He's like, and now you're banned from the vault. Exactly. I said, have you had a No. No. What part of look, don't touch involves honking of horns? <laughs> the, the look or the touch? Wait. That would be the touch part, we of course. Dragon, they pressed us Dragon. honking the horns. We got pressed right on out of there. Dagnam it. But if you guys ever want to come visit, if you're in Oregon... Uh, shout out to the... <laughs> he, was, he was looking for the horn honker the whole time. The wham, yeah. He's like, it was her? It was the one talking to me? Dang it. She seemed way too respectful to honk horn. <laughs> Oops. Too soon, too soon. A little bit. Sorry. Oh, was sorry not... not Really sorry. Uh, hey, welcome back, Jesse. Man, shout out Dove Season. That was awesome. Um, yeah. Farmer. <sighs> oh, that feels good sitting down. Are you? Who knew sitting down would feel so good? You're probably hot, aren't you? I'm gonna turn on some heat. I'm pretty all right. I'll, I'll I look. Not. Was I in there like this? Is this what I looked like the whole time? <laughs> You <laughs> couldn't talk if you were wearing a mask. Nobody notices that kind of thing when you're wearing a mask. Is this what I look like, Jesse? <laughs> Fuck! Uh, you're <laughs> so welcome, people. And that was. Never allowed back. Dang it. Dang it. Time. We're never gonna walk. If you can drive the cars, but you can't honk the horns. Doubt it. Maybe he thought I meant in the car. I meant like the little horns that were on the side that he's were like, that's the, reach. He's like, he's like, that's honk, the honk. most dangerous. That's the most tender part. You could. They're dry. It rod. was a misunderstanding. He wouldn't have cared if he knew what I was honking. Anybody want fire evergreen? Anybody got a fire evergreen out there? We got the XGA Except thirteen. the first half when you're flying down too. <laughs> no season. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Jessie says the same thing when she gets up and looks in the mirror. <laughs> Dang it, dove season. Ah, Stalls needs his gerbil and his turkey baster. <sighs> oh my gosh. We're getting wild in here. The horn honking assailant has left the building. Uh, I paid good money for those horn honks. <laughs> 
<laughs> I better sanitize since oh, I yeah. touched everything. <laughs> you didn't touch anything. I didn't touch anything. Oh, he did. He touched that that wiper, that windshield wiper. Oh, I did a little bit. Oh, you guys rock. Thanks Salt for hanging out on a Monday. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no worries. Yeah, you guys are the best. We appreciate it. If you just too. joined us within the last hour, I apologize. We did start earlier this week than we usually do. We did. Um, you never know when we're going to start on Mondays, but we try. We just needed we needed to be in here early because there was all so much to look at. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, they close at 5, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna come early and then you're gonna check it out for like four hours. You're gonna try to freak me up. <coughs> Shout out XJ13. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't even uh, remember. Smuggler said it's okay you started early. What's next? Okay, I get when's comedy hour, farmer says. That's next week. Next week. Hey wait, did I look did my hair look like that? It was because of that windy, uh, it was windy of the, modeling the blowing, scene. Yeah. The blowing hair. Yeah, comedy hour is next week. Tune in next, next week Monday. for comedy hour. Um, who knows what we're doing next week? Oh, sorry, Jesse. We didn't even notice. Sometimes we miss stuff when we're out and about. Jesse, I've been really bad on chat because I was watching JoJo. I need baby. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for asking, but we are not playing games this week. We're going to call it early tonight. Um, we are looking forward to next Monday, even though we don't we'll, know what we're doing. Yeah, if we're if the weather's crappy, I wanna go we'll hiking. be at home and we'll play games. Maybe we'll do a marathon stream next week since we didn't do one this week. Yeah, I We mean, owe stalls a 72-hour stream. It's true. No, not oh, on Sunday. Oh, you guys. It. Dang it. Oh, on uh, and disliked. Oh, man. From Smuggy. Let's, uh, and look at Jessie. She's so sad we're not playing games. Let's and go. And dinner. Frank says, what about dinner? What are we? We don't even know what we're doing for dinner. Uh, 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 what bacon, do you What do you bacon think? Bacon grilled cheeses with coleslaw. And what do you think? I don't know. Are you easily manipulated into streaming longer? I am. I'm easily manipulated. Should we go? Oh, should we go down to Goat oh. Park real quick? Well, we would have to grab the dogs. Wouldn't we? No. What are we gonna do down there? Just see. Just check it out real quick. Get a little sunset peak. And not. Okay. <laughs> and doggy dinner time, right, Shed Game? That's what oh I'm saying. God. Just hit up there real quick. No dogs, mothers. <laughs> <laughs> the sun says it's set till 5 30. <laughs> Let's go get the dogs and go to Goat Park. <laughs> you guys. You guys. Put on your seatbelt. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing Have it. Some coffee. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All you have to do is threaten to unsub and we'll do pretty much anything. <laughs> I'm losing, we're, yeah, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. JoJo's catching up with me. It's a dang, it's a dang shenanigan. JoJo's going to surpass me in subs in no time. Speaking of which, don't forget to, uh... Hmm? I don't know care. what you're pointing out. Okay. Um... I understand. Don't forget to sub to JoJo Strums. By the way, I was gonna get you guys on a different power source real quick, but I think I got time. Oh man, Doug Susan is hilarious. That just keeps popping into my head and cracking me up. Smuggler, you missed it. Dove Season had the nice lady at the front desk bring us water so that we wouldn't sit in any of the seats anymore. Or so that I wouldn't sit in any of the seats anymore, if I'm being honest. Sad wouldn't dream of sitting in the seats. Jeez, guys, and can't you two just pretend we ain't here? We won't comment or anything. We just want to spend time with you. Oh, dang 
Stone Blue Stone. says, we love you guys too. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks for encouraging us to continue streaming. We gotta, we gotta work out our streaming chops. We're never gonna become pro streamers if we don't work out our streaming chops. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with you guys. Hey, wait, shouldn't we just be showing us? No, not, not mostly. Maybe your beautiful face. I'm pretty sure. I mean, didn't you see that thing that David Byrne did where he was like, people are fascinated at watching faces. That's what they want to see. They want to see faces. Do you guys want to see faces? I think our faces are more interesting than the road. I mean, you especially have an interesting face. Look at that one. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> faces. See? Smug likes faces. JoJo Strom's every Wednesday. Every time uh, Jesse's at the store. Why are you always going live when Jesse's at the store, yo? <laughs> She's supposed to schedule her shopping around me, but her cow isn't having it, so it's okay. It's okay. You can just watch while you shop. Looks at the thumbnail. <laughs> so maybe mm -hmm. she has. I love it. That was a good day. That was uh, Portland when we went to the Japanese Garden Day. That was a fun one. That I want cool. to go to a hedge maze. Dang it! I want a hedge maze. I guess I'm gonna have to settle for a corn maze in October. Yeah, we can do that. Pumpkin but patch and corn maze. That'll be fun. I feel like I need a hedge maze in my life. I think, though, a lot of times those places are only open on weekends. I don't know if they're going to be. Maybe. Maybe during the summer they'll be open all week. Oh, un unstable. Unstable here? What the? Everybody's going to be like, oh, they ended it sneaky like. If it ends, come back. There it is. We're better. We're all better now. Everything's good. You're welcome, Frank. How could we say no? Look at your... Do Did you see Jesse? She was like... Google. I can't... You can't do it when you're looking out of the side of your eyes. You just can't make that face. No. Especially when you're driving. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's why I was having to look out of the side of my face. What are you doing over there? I'm not letting them look at you anymore because you look back. Okay. I saw you looking back at them. Okay. We need laser. We need laser focus, Jess. Focus. Jesse. I don't think there's gonna be much of a sunset. There's nice little snow on the hills over there. It is beautiful too. That little spot. She's telling you about how beautiful it is, and she's like, well, show, when we go show to Gulf Park, face. we'll be able to see it. We gotta do faces now. Oh, are we getting face? Are we getting the dogs and going to the goat park? Ah, uh, yeah, that was the plan, wasn't it? Oh, I, I yeah, that's the plan. Uh, they love goat park. It's like one of their favorite places in the world. And it'll be perfect. We go to goat park, and then when we get home, it'll be just in time for doggy dinner time. Cause doggy dinner time is the best. Remy and Chloe look forward to it every day. Nice. Five resin. Dang. That's true. Thank you, guys. Uh, Stahl says he's coming unglued if it ends. <laughs> oh, um, no, Sad uses Swampy Acre soap to look so young. Yep. It's true. Right. That's where I keep my, my supple <laughs> suppleness. Keeps me real supple. Um, was there something else I was going to say? $13 a gram. I just, I found a really good rosin I like that is not busting the bank. So that's been really nice. I did get a live resin cart and it's extra potent. It gets me ripped. Paranoid status. A little bit. You did pretty good though. Like I was honking horns and stuff, and you still 
I didn't run away completely. Yeah. Man, they timed that perfectly to... Oh. To stop us from going? Mm-hmm. Quit being against us, all of you drivers! <laughs> stop that now. They just don't want us to cross the road and get our dogs. Let us have our dogs. Yeah. Stalls is over that way on the mountain. Okay, good. That's a good spot to Man, be this XJ13 is, it's fire. It, and it, for someone who didn't have like issues with anxiety type feelings or anxiousness, um, I think it would be great. Nice it, would, it would be really productive and super creative, but for me, it's a little questionable. Frank, 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 Man, Frank, I never Frank, got Frank, 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 when I was younger. Frank, 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 Frank. But I do a little bit sometimes now. But only if I'm like overloaded. Like it's the overload that gets me. Are you gonna wait out here or do you have to pee sure. or anything? I'm gonna pee real quick. Maybe we'll take turns peeing. I mean, you can, you can go in and. Inside. Yeah, I'll just wait here and. Oh, I guess I can beard cam inside. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so paranoid. <laughs> why? Why is he got to be mean? Me? Why is he so mean to me? Should we go? We can go to the garage. I'm sorry. I love you. I got keys. Let's go through the garage. I kid. I kid. I keyed, I keyed. I keyed, I keyed. All you guys are going to see are very excited poop poops. Put on poop poop cam. Poop poop cam. What you doing, girl? Hi, poop poops. Hi. Hi. Hello, honey. Hi, poop poops. Oh, Remy's looking for her laser. Oh, we should bring that. Oh, good. Oh, uh hi. -huh. You need your mommy's home treats? Oh, good. You better sit. You better sit for your treats. Have you been um, eating Mary's Stella Goes Wild? Is asking for someone's hand in mar anyone's hand in marriage. <laughs> Anyone? Um, Smuggler says, I ain't cheap. I want a nice ring. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Jesse will marry Terry. Oh, nice. Hi, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, you wild dogs. Oh, oh, oh. Do the butt chant. Doggos. Chat can't chat came in clutch. They told us to come save you and take you to the park real quick. What do you think about that? What do you think about that tail? That looks like a happy tail. That looks like a happy tail. Hap, hap, happy tail. Hap, 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 happy tail. Yeah. Hey, you wanna get married? Star says, Fruit Bat Princess, will you take my hand in matrimony? What do you think? Fruit bat. Okay, maybe let's set them up right here and then I'll put the leash in one of them. If I put them right here, I think they can see you put leashes on dogs. Oh, it probably gets too excited. Hey, hey, Does hey, that hey, work? Come here. Yeah. All right, I can't tell. But oh, yeah. It, if it works, yes. Come here, Remy, sit. Remy, sit. We're gonna go bye bye. Chloe, sit. Chloe has to, well, as soon as I click on Remy's collar, Chloe goes running away and then comes running back. No, nope, you stay, Remy. Gosh, dang it. There she goes, running away. And now she comes back. Okay, Chloe, calm down. Sit. Okay, come here. Not you, Chloe, come on. Come on. You gotta pick Chloe up. 
put her in a harness. It's the easiest way to put her in a harness. Because you got to put her little legs through it like this. <laughs> and then put her down and clip her up. All right. All right I'm going to put that laser in my pocket. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to... It's so funny watching Remy play with the laser. She look, she's looking down at the ground right now. She's getting excited about this. We can't do it here, girl. We're going to take it to the go park. Chloe, calm down. Calm down. They're so excited they get to go. I'm going to put my coat on. For the adventure. Oh yeah, my zipper's up. Oh, put your zipper up, honey. It is. How's your hair looking? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Come on, girls. You tell me. All right, here we go. Beard cam. Beard cam enacted. Beard camming. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> Don't tell them what you're seeing. I'm not going to. Do you have? <laughs> Do you want me to lock it? I got it? it. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell them what you're seeing. <laughs> I was making some final adjustments. No, you told them what I was seeing. Yeah, I felt like I had to at that point. <laughs> You know, full disclosure, you know. <clears throat> All right. All right, girls. All right. Hop in, Remedy. Zip <laughs> up, man. <sighs> Remy's sniffing around for a bully stick. These dogs, we just discovered these dogs love bully sticks. Good thing they still a boy. This is squeaky. <laughs> Get that squeaky. Part. She likes that squeaky squeaker. I kind of want to put this in Where? the house. Yeah, in the house. I want to put it in the house. Damn, I got like sister wives and husbands and puppies. This rocks. It's a wild world. I want to marry Fat Bottom Cupcake. Aim into that. Alright. Alright, girls. Uh, Stalls has the sister wives and husbands and puppies. This rocks. Zip up. <laughs> And Jesse wants to marry fat bottom cupcakes. What's the size 10 boots thing all about? Yeah, I would. I was probably pointing the camera at my boots at one point. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. A little bit. They're 11. 11 and a half? Mm -hmm. Or 11? I think 11. Or, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the. I think the key. I think 11. I... On these new ones. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, because I got you 11 and a half, like I always used to, and then they were too sh too big. It was because I got fat and didn't use my feet and they shrunk. When you gain weight, your feet grow. It's true. Oh, grow? Okay, I thought they shrunk from not getting used. Oh, uh -uh. I mean, my feet have been a size, bit. when I was 40 pounds heavier, my feet were a size bigger. <laughs> You just, you press them down from being, having more weight. I want to consummate my marriage to the fat bottom cupcake. <laughs> that thing is hot. Oh yeah. It has that little cream cheese center that's perfect for that sort of thing. Are we there yet? No, nope, we're getting, uh, we're getting stuffed for a moment. And you think the Wolf house. Oh, what hi. up? Good to see you. He says he misses Sad and Jojo and his friends. He will see them next week. Hey, have a great week, Wolf Wolf. Sweet. Thanks yeah. for stopping in. We're uh, just cruising down to the park for a momentary little dog running and gunning. I wonder if the lights work. If it's not like all the way dark. 
If not, we don't have her toy. I left it in the car. Dang it. Oh, well. They It'll work good enough, I think. Yeah, and they can just run around. Swampy says, I've had you playing on the TV. Just let, or he says, Thanks. let me get it. But I had you all on the on the TV playing. Heck yeah. Thank you, Swampy. Appreciate, appreciate it. that. I might have been a little annoying getting scared like a uh, like a scaredy cat. Nobody could tell. I was like, no, 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 don't do it. No, 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 don't do it. And he was just like frantically making hand signals at The me. director. <laughs> we call we call this This is the director. And I just ignored the and, director. And JoJo is one of those actresses that just she does her thing. I'm you don't di you don't star, you don't direct a JoJo. This this is I'm he's pretty much retired. But he comes out occasionally and tries to say <laughs> Bro! What do you think, Fruit Bat? What do you think? She thinks she's excited for this car ride. She likes to direct you. Oh, do we have are there Shit. What's that? Are there TREATs on the floor over there? Are there? Mm. 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 I don't think so. Dang it. We don't have any. We're not prepared. You can't get Chloe to listen without him. You can, but you gotta pull out your serious voice. We don't want to do that. No. What do you think, Chloe? Are you gonna be a good girl? I really thought there were some well, look, I'm gonna get out again. You gonna be a good girl? She is. She's supposed to be a good girl. <laughs> I don't see as I that says, I feel you sad. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for your uh, divine intervention. Yeah. <laughs> your uh, electronic intervention. Yeah, I shouldn't, though, in my defense, I didn't really put weight on it. I was just like, kind of, I, I didn't put much weight. I try not to imagine perfectly. the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't think a bad thing will happen and it won't happen. Yep. But There's something at that to same that. at the same moment I was thinking of a bad thing that might happen. <laughs> and you were saying don't. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, fun. She squeaked on her squeaker. They're both hanging out the windows. What do you think? <laughs> Chloe's excited back there. Yeah, I need to start keeping treats in my pockets. This used to, we could have ran in here and got some if it wasn't closed now. Oh, I missed what Swampy said. Sorry. Thanks, Swampy. on the fat bottom cupcake. Yeah, that's right. A oh, little cherry. And Shed Gang says, eating fake crab with peanuts, with peanut butter on it. Stoner what? moment. Oh, I bet that's bomb. Sad would love it. Uh, Goldie Cobb says, what Stell said. <laughs> Jesse says, uh, I don't know about, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, Shed Gang. <laughs> Man, Sad eats peanut butter on it. I'd put peanut butter on per it, every anything. Yeah. It made, it, it's good on anything. It pretty much is good on anything. I had it on pepperoni pizza. It definitely wasn't bad. I I don't think I I mean I haven't been too adventurous with the things that I would put peanut butter on, but yeah, I, I could imagine that it wouldn't be bad on crab. I mean 
on imitation crab. I wouldn't put it on real crab just because it's so decadent and expensive. But it's so good with butter, and peanut butter's not that far off. A melted peanut butter sauce to dip it in? Maybe, maybe I would do that. says but seafood uh scuff frank says where do i get some fat bottom cupcakes uh i've had we a peanut peanut butter dang it what was it oh we can open our box when we get home too uh dang it i've had a peanut butter and deviled ham sandwich Ooh, that's interesting uh, that peanut butter and ham that must be some good weed. <laughs> Either that or you're smoking a lot of it. Uh, Jesse said it was good, the peanut butter deviled ham. I bet. I would get down with that. Peanut butter is so good on filet mignon, spelled correctly on per incorrectly on purpose. Oh. There are people here. Dang it. And there's garbage. Dang it. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, we're just gonna have to have you get some dirty shit. Chloe, you better get out of here. No, it's okay, stinks. You better get out of here, she said. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. You better get out of here. Jojo says, you better get out of here. No, oh, peanut butter on the pinky toe, you know, you say. The creamy sweet aphrodisiac. Moon pie box, you got it. Got the greenery. Really is, it's really uh, peaceful, not too windy. There's a slight breeze, but man, really nice. A little chilly. You can see right where the ele where the snow s starts, <clears throat> about two thousand feet. We're just missing like it was just warm enough yesterday to rain instead of snow, and then today it's been dry but cold. If you can see that rock, there's a light right behind my cartridge. That's a little train tunnel way out there. Snap into a Slim Jam. Look like a snow vineyard up there. It might be a snowy vineyard up there on them there hill. It is. Do you want fingerless gloves? Sure. What are we gonna cook? Can you hold them. Uh, bacon, grilled cheeses, and coleslaw. I already have coleslaw. Oh made. yeah, bacon, grilled cheeses. 
Shout out to I've been I've been wanting to start a grilled cheese restaurant. Yeah, he has been. It's true. Oh, but are we talking about moon pies? Van a banana is Dove Season's favorite. Uh, Jesse likes vanilla. I can't use this phone with my. Is it moon pies we're talking about? Yes. Nice. Sorry. I'm excited. We're, we're gonna have to we were talking about the there. moon pie box. Jesse said they had a big box at Winco for two ninety eight. Got to scoop that. Heck yeah, you do. That's a deal. Get this chain chain link fence out your view. What kind of bread? That's a good question. I don't know if we have bread. It's some kind of organic sourdough. I can't remember oh. the brand name. Ooh, organic sourdough. Sourdough. That's a good good one. And we got some good cheeses to put on it. I, should we put Fontina? Yeah. Oh. We could even like Fontina and sharp cheddar or something. But we could do all Fontina is so good. Oh. Ah, everybody, everybody, spam, spam uh, Stalls' inbox with compliments. Send him all the love. Yeah. He's feeling like a third wheel out here. Oh. He feels like a third wheel out here. We love you, stalls. You're the best stalls. You're like we do love you. But everybody DM like slide into slide into stalls DMs. Over there. Slip it slip in there. They have marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as cold as you walk. It's true. Not a huge park. We were planning on having the place to ourselves and letting the dogs have free room. But I think we've been uh, invaded. I'll be our B. Oh. You're going to be our B? Okay. Goldie Cobb was saying, pro tip, it's not as cold if you walk. <laughs> Stalls has you blocked. Oh, I have a couple TRE. I have a couple of those. I have a couple of those. Yeah. How many couple? Just like two. Uh, like a bunch of little bits. Oh man, Greasy, hell yeah, Greasy. shout out, hope you're doing well. He Greasy. said, Sad, can, can me and you go into the grilled cheese business together and we can call it the Sad and Greasy Cheese? Uh, yes! I wouldn't do it with anybody else, That's man. That's a better name than Bunk Sandwiches, my friend. No doubt. Thanks for coming in. We're just out here freezing not really not really better sad and greasy i like it i found the sad plane today greasy it was like a real life no man's sky moment but i couldn't actually just take it by repairing its broken parts oh someone else is coming in though someone else is coming in though somebody going out though and somebody coming in though what the what the hey okay i'm just going back to shoot the view i'm just going back over here shoot the view a little bit see if we find any hidden treasures along the way get that uh stalls oh greasy's another another bridegroom groom bride Sister wife. Broom grads, boom grad, broom grad, broom. What do you call those? It, oh shit. Say it I'm gonna go let's go look. It looks they're in a they're in a Subaru. That would check 
That would check out dove season. Can you guys see any better? We got laser going on. If that don't scare him on, we ain't gonna have no lunch ladies near us. Is that, oh, they're getting out. They're getting out. I saw sweatpants. That, that could be lunch ladies. Uh, they're going, uh, Okay, I don't think it's, they looked. They looked a little too young for lunch, ladies. Oh, oh, whoa, yeah, whoa. She's a crazy dog. She's a crazy dog. We thought maybe it was the lunch ladies from the mixer fiasco. We had to check it out a little bit. We must hide at once. Yeah. If I... And I just can't trust her off leash with people around. <laughs> Unfortunately. Not close. You cannot be trusted. Look at what's on the tree. Look over there. It's on the stump. Look over there. Look over there. Look over there. Look over there. She's running like a wild girl. Where'd it go, girl? <laughs> Chloe. You better let her go. You better let her go a little bit. Come here, Chloe. Good girl. You want a treat? Oh, no. Chloe. <laughs> She's a maniac. Maybe you should call her back to you and get her back on. Yeah, let them let them leave, okay. or maybe I'll call her. Yeah, just keep calling her back and forth. Come on! Oh yeah, they, they fixed the hole. Sit. You wanna sit? You gotta sit. Come on! I know you're excited. Ah, right, you gotta sit. Chloe, that's not sitting. You're making this real hard to film too. Just let you know. Okay, sit. 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 Ah, uh, no. <laughs> sit. Sit, sit, you little turd butt. You're being bad girl on the internet. Sit. Come on. Sit. Oh my gosh. I had the treat in my hand. Oh my god, I had the treat in my hand. I had the tree in my hand. I'm the dummy. I'm the dummy. I'm the dummy. Chloe, come! Chloe, oh, she saw. Chloe, come. Good girl. Good girl. She was dancing. Yeah, she was doing what she was supposed to do when I have the treat. When I had the treat in my hand. She saw those people and then still came back. She's a good girl. <laughs> you wanna sit? You wanna sit? Okay. You wanna dance? Dance a little bit? Yeah, yeah you can dance. Good girl. Good dancing. She's like, I don't want to put my booty on the cold grass. Yeah, exactly. yeah I don't blame her. Oh, 
What do you think? You don't like that cold grass, do you? Let's go. Let's go on a walk. Let's go on an adventure, Chloe. You wanna go? Come on. We're going on a freaking adventure. Come on. Let's go. Yep. Let's go up this way a little bit. Okay. That's probably far enough. But yeah, let's come back. Yeah. That's enough adventure. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. She almost got us, guys. Sit. Chloe, sit. Sit. Stay down. Little stinky. Hi. Hi. She's a wild mongrel. She's a wild mongrel. Oh, gosh. She's going to get you guys. Are you the happiest? She's so happy. Are you a half, half, happy dog? Oh, you're a happy dog too, huh, Chloe? <coughs> you don't gotta do that, though. Stay down. She, <coughs> needs, she needs a booty cushion. She needs a little booty cushion for this wet grass. <coughs> Jeez. That's not loud at all. That's not loud at all, is it, Chloe? That's not loud at all. All right, let's put the laser away. See there? <laughs> I, I put it in away. Let's get back. Should we get back on leashes? Oh, gosh. You got cuteness there. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean... I guess maybe. I want to I wanna walk around and pick up this garbage. Garbage picking up. I, don't, I really, truly don't feel like Remy needs to go. Let's put them on a leash. That way we don't have to worry about them while we pick up garbage. Okay. Just so we, we don't have to multitask too much. I only got so many multi... I only got so many tasks I can do at once. I know if it's smoke. That's the only that we can get away with. Don't tell. Yeah, Peeping's got a cute little dancing puppy. No. Oh, Remy sits pretty. You got a bag? Do you want another bag? No. Yeah, I just won't be able to turn it off. Or I have another bag. Community service simulator. These parks aren't taken care of anymore. They abandoned the parks. So, In a world where the parks were abandoned. I don't think I want to touch the hypodermic needle. I just hook it up in the bag. What? Disgusting. Oh yeah, I should just pick it up in a bag. I'll That's take the dogs. wait, I'm gonna Oh wait, take I the don't dogs. Want them Oh yeah, that's disgusting. Well, I don't want you anywhere near that thing. I'm just. I want to stick the cap on. Um. So. It. It originated, Frank, during a short federal shutdown. And a lot of parks, I think, that were locally ran took that as an excuse to defund them and pretty much stop taking care of them. It was weird. 
a lot of parks have closed and not opened a lot of them open in some capacity this one's pretty much open but yeah they, they don't maintain it I found a little helicopter a little drone it has yeah a little drone it has an on off switch does it fly it has a little recharge port we could put it in rice and see if don't turn it on if it's off uh oh oh because it's wet yeah let's take it on and see if it works Nano drone. Gross. I don't know how we would charge it. Uh, Dove season says maybe don't pick it up without the right kind of gloves and sharps container. Be careful. See, it, it does have a cap. It does have a, it had cap, a cap on, on it. it, and I picked it up with the plastic bag. Yeah. I feel good about that. It was it was fairly safe, but yeah, if it didn't still have a cap, sketchy. I would not have even tried even with the plastic bag. I wouldn't have touched it with a tin foot pole. Yeah, exactly. What he said. <laughs> yeah, you got to put all the stalls blue statues. Up. You can't you can't not have the stalls blue statues. That would be uncivilized. Dove season, thanks for always looking out for our safety and well-being. No doubt. Frank says it's very kind of you to clean up the mess. It's a place we like to come, so it's it's a good idea to keep it main keep keep the clutter knocked off of it. Especially freaking needles, that's sad. Yeah. That's a sad one. Oh uh, no, it's okay. Leave them. Leave it. That's a good girl. Hey, there's a good girl. That's a good leave you it. being a good leave it. Yeah, good, good leave, leave it. it. Good leave it girls. Good leave it girls. Yeah, no trash cans provided. Sorry guys, this is scuffed uh, camera work. There were trash cans. Yeah, no I'm trash downs. Just like cut they cut uh, all the bathrooms out pretty much. If there were full service bathrooms. Um sad is sad. Can't help yeah, man. Good, good guy to have on your side. No trash cans. We used to have grills. Um, there was a picnic table there. There was a picnic table. There, yep, there is still that picnic table. Um, but yeah, it's funny. I was reading about the history of this area. And the town is all pretty much over there. But it used to be that there were three... I can't remember the names of the places off the top of my head now. But this was another little settlement area. And then down over the hill was another spot as well. Jojo's like disinfecting her whole body. She's, she's sanitizing her whole body. One more nice view and token and then split this joint. Oh, tonight could be a dab buffet. I got a, a, a whole dab, dab buffet. Episode. It's a dab episode. Are we going to switch over to PC when we get home or stay on mobile? Um, we better switch over, right? I don't care. It doesn't really matter. Whatever, whatever you guys think if we should switch or not. It's like that mountain right over there. Northwest kind, made with only the finest ingredients. So we got a lot of new rosins and we were, 
noticing that the live butter is like whipped and opaque and has a really amazing um, nose. Jojo just got a, a whiff. I just got her with a cloud. Oh, okay. I was open about Remy pooping. Oh. Um, but there's other stuff called fresh press, which I think they don't whip and don't cure. And it looks much clearer and has like a really good eye appeal. But the nose isn't as prevalent. The flavor on both of them is really amazing. But I wonder what people prefer. We got a train going by in the distance. Fuck it. Might as well play Jackbox tonight. Hell yeah. That sounds like a PC stream. Leo Buscaglia, he's a doctor that writes, his, I think his most famous book is just called Love, and he what? writes about, like, just loving and, like, community responsibility, and he's like, why not be that person that when they see a mess, they clean it up, and it's better for the next person that comes? Can you focus on that? Focus. Oh, no, never mind. Here. Get your poop finger away. <laughs> <laughs> a little dark for Goldie's taste. Yeah, I'm not a big cart aficionado. This one I bought because I remember the strain being super potent. Man, though, Goldie, I gotta say that stuff gets a bad rap for color, but... They're har a lot of it, they're just harvesting it really early to get that clearer color. And really, you've often ready and you have more color in the in the terpenes, that's when you, you get, or more yeah, color in the trichomes, that's when you get, yeah, more, or different terpenes. I mean, it's not necessarily more, but I, I mean, I really have learned um, really from people in the industry having worked in it that the color is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, this they is... They shy away from it because of the market. There's no distillate in here. That's just straight live resin, too. That that would be another... Yeah. Another thing. Yep. And, and but, yeah. Distillate should be clear. Yeah. These girls are good. Is they it about doggy dinner good. time? It's probably about doggy dinner time. It is real close. We should go. We, we gotta, gotta go. get out here. We're gonna miss it by a couple minutes. That's Come on, girls. Let's go down to dinner, Thanks for hanging out with us at the cloud set. Marathon stream. Marathon stream. We we're talking. I was like, we should do a marathon stream next week, and we we're like, let's just do a marathon stream. Right there. <laughs> we could keep this. Oh, watch that branch. Oh, that branch will get there. That last one got me, apparently. How'd I get out without getting in the mud so much? I must have gotten the mud more than I thought. Yeah, you can tell when crap weed was used for sure. I see some of the carts people bring in. Oh. It's like, ew. Okay. Dragon <laughs> model. Dragon uh, model. Dragon model, what up? 
Is that like a fig's pee pee hand? It's a it's a little bit like a fig's pee pee hand. It's what like a fig's. Your JoJo poo poo hand. Your JoJo dookie. Yep, it's very similar to a fig's pee pee hand. Only oh, it's dog poop. man. Yep, those dogs uh, pee pee says those dogs know how to keep time within minutes. <laughs> yep. I'm having a hard time reading the gimbal right now because my eyeballs aren't working. Uh oh. Too high? I do have a uh, rear her, vision? Her dog lets, lets her know when the, no, because the gimbal was moving an awful oh. lot. So I got it kind of propped up a little bit. Her dog lets her know when it's dinner time. Yep. There's some question marks going on. Smuggler says, I'm sure you had in the day, Smuggler. Uh, More than you want to know. It's just a statue. That's big old balls. Man, yeah. Bad, 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 bad oil we've had. Bad. What? Oil. B H O. When it came out right, it was like the rare, the rarity. I was like, oh, there you hey. That small batch goes a long way. If you're open blasting, I don't think he knows I what he's doing. I think he was doing. just trying to turn the wrong way onto the freeway, is what he was doing. He might be. Did you see he had his left blinker on? Person's gonna cut you off. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What? What's a, what you is? Stay there. You what is it about there. this place that makes people want to cut you off? Um, it's a weird one. Yeah. They just don't know. It's a little bit of they a tricky intersection. Balls like stalls. It's not the balls. It's all it's still the balls. Balls. One of those wax warmers. Yeah, we we had all kinds of crock pots and we had all kinds of setups. Our buddy you? almost blew us up good one time. I'm pretty good. He uh, a heat uh, like oven we were using to heat purge stuff was turned upside down for some reason. And fire just went from one end of the little shelter to the other. Oh were you you were out there for that, right? I don't remember that. I don't think I was. I must have been at work or something. Hey, that's good. Uh, Dove Season says, expect shitty drivers and you'll be pleasantly surprised when you don't see them. That's right. I love it. That's, that's right. the That's the, and I, that's the way to think about it. And just like letting them get you angry, I always say that. I can't remember who said it. I almost want to say Confucius. I don't say it right either, but uh, holding anger or hatred towards someone is like taking poison and expecting them to die. And it's just so true and I try to remind myself and also like because I commute every day you know so I'll get behind people who are going 35 and a 55 you know and the road is you know if you don't know the road I went slow on the road when I didn't know it too you know and I always try I always uh, tell myself they could be saving my life right now or stopping something you know it's like you never know you should embrace and be thankful for for stuff even if you can't prove it you know that it's causing something positive. That's how I feel about it. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let that motherfucker burn. 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 Oh, but if we go live on the PC, I have two buttons that I haven't made that I was supposed to make, and then I'm in trouble. Oh. Dang it. I was supposed to make your button and I didn't, and I'm sorry if I'm in trouble. This is Jojo's fault. Yeah, just blame it on me. I said, 
You can't make those buttons because we're not doing a PC stream. Yeah. Uh, Peepin says, yep, no grudges is a good way to live. No doubt. Yeah. No digging. Huh? Oh, Chloe's just rolling down her own window because I forgot to do it. We got a little window roller down there. Yeah. If you to roll down the window, she would just roll it Chloe. Oh. She rolled it down so she could bark at that guy. Gosh. Pressed. <laughs> Chloe's a presser. Don't be a presser. Don't be anymore, girl. You can't be jumping out of there. She's wild. Yeah. She's a wild dog out there. Like, you better not stop me from getting home to have my dinner time. It's so nice, it's light later now. It's six o'clock and it's still fairly light out. Summer is coming. Spring is coming first, but summer's yeah, coming after that. Exactly. Like, I, I have that old guy in my, ingrained in my brain lately that was like, I'm falling behind. I'm like he was out in the garden working. I'm like, yeah. bro. He's like, it's almost summer. It's I'm almost behind. summer. That's what he said. Yeah. I was like, it's February. Dude, you're really ahead if you're thinking it's almost summer. Yeah, winter ain't over yet, bud. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's 20. It's going to be 20 degrees tonight. It's definitely not over. I'm glad. I wish we would get a little more snowpack up on the mountain. This rain is, so it's good. Grilled cheese sandwiches. It snowed last night, Smuggler says. Yeah. Goldie Cobb says, yeah, winter ain't done yet. The, it called for snow, but yeah, it will we be were. a rain. We were teased with a little bit, but never got it. It could happen. You never know. You want to it? Yeah. It sounds good to me. It's easier with the dog moves. Okay, we need water. You got the water? Yep. Ah, Chloe. Oh, you got the doggos? Yep. Sweet. Deals. Here we go, team. Here we go, team. Let's go, team. Team. Door getter. Let's get the door. Got it. Mission successful. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's set you guys up. Right here for a minute. Oh, what happened? Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Don't tell JoJo I spun you guys upside down. Whatever you do. We made it. That was a close one. Dove season said he was going to do his garden on Sunday, but went out on the razor instead. Yeah, I think at least here it's better to wait a little while. Um, Stahl says in Oregon I went to this like gift shop type thing by the river, the something house. Oh yeah, the... Uh... Vista house? Yeah. Is that what? We went there. Jo yeah, we have been there. JoJo sang a song outside of there. Yep. I may or may not have lost your fingery glove. Let's say I didn't, because I don't want to have. I've lost what? Your, your glove? I don't know how. It's okay. I have uh, three, three or four pairs of those in different colors. How did that happen? Dang. But I bet they're in the truck or something. I swear I put it in this pocket. Maybe outside the door when I unlocked the door. Possibly. Uh, I'll be right back with you. We could just set up doggy dinner time on the mobile. Yeah, that's a great idea. Mobile doggy dinner time incoming. 
This 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 part of the show is on the fly. Maybe it's under my cap. That'd be a good place to have it. Glove? Unfortunately. What did you lose? Your glove. Oh. Am I the stone monster? I thought it was something else. <laughs> I said the gloves and then he didn't answer me. So Remy got her a treat, her glucosamine treat with her pill, and then these are the glucosamine jerkies that they get in the evening time. And then they get solid. Oh, Remy, did you steal Chloe's jerky? She did. That's funny, too, because she doesn't. Well, I put them in a different spot than I usually do so that you guys could see her eat them. So, how many did you steal? Now I got it. Hey, wait, you didn't even sit. Chloe, you better sit too, girl. Sit. What kind of shenanigans you got going Stay. on? Stay. Oh, gosh, it's a nut house. Okay. Here, I'll give you another piece of jerky, Chloe. You sit your jerk. Stealing your jerky. How many pieces did she get? Jack move. We can No, no, Remy, you don't get any of these. These are just for cold. I'm going to put them in her food bowl. Okay. Here you go, Chloe. Remy, you eat your own food. This is for Chloe. We should have a big charcuterie plate with cheese and pickles and crackers. Doesn't that sound good? I like charcuterie. We're big fans of the charcuterie. Yeah, we are. We like charcuterie. I didn't get grapes though because they didn't have any organic grapes. I haven't had a chat because I've been trying to get the, the streaming situation situated. Oh, yeah. Feels good to be home. We're going to have an unboxing. We could start the PC stream while this stream's still going. Yeah, I'm working. I'm working only a little bit trying to figure Okay. Remember what I had to do? You got to put colors on. They have fancy colors. We do like to a party. Oh, yeah. Why don't... What's happening? Why don't I have chat? Yeah. Oh. That was weird. JoJo got banned from chat. 
What's going on in there? In the cold. Oh, uh, Stull said, oh, the Vista House, that's it. Uh, Dragon said, Razor? Electric bike? I was, th I was thinking like a quad, one of those quad razors. Oh, Doug Season said he was going to do the garden on Sunday, but went out on the razor instead. Yeah. Uh, the Vista House is it. Goldie said, check car. I'm sure it's in the car, Goldie. We're not going to worry about it till later. Like I said, I have several pairs of those, I'm, and I bet it's in there. Uh, and Stahl's posted him swimming in the cold Pacific on Discord. Cool! That's burning kind of cold. Jesse saw Stahl's go to the restroom with a glove. Woo! Side by, Dove Season has a side by side. Razor. Yeah, the Pacific is cold. Even on the warmest possible day over there, it is cold. Nice. Oh, I love that picture. Heck yeah. Oregon picks from stalls. That's super cool. She did poop at the park. I'm sure Chloe's going to need to go outside. Poop at the park. Poop at the park. Are you feeling like dinner? Uh, I can wait. So that's great. That'll make it easy. Did you get the label off? I did. You gonna go outside, Chloe? Oh, okay, here we go. No more dogs. <sighs> uh oh. Uh oh. I messed up. I messed up. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better. There he is. Alberto's here. Alberto, what up? Hello. Thanks for coming in. We are mid. We got an unboxing to do, folks. Six. Yeah, we're gonna. Sad. How many moon pies can you eat in five minutes? This uh, whole box easy, but he's not gonna do that. I'm pretty sure. If I know him, I don't. Though he does take a challenge seriously. Not as seriously as we watched. Relaxer? Is that what it's called? Oh my god. It was kind of hilarious. It was freaking We're gonna open weird. this box when we start our next stream. I wonder what's in it. Sounds um, like it might be something delicious. Um, guys, yeah, don't watch the relaxer on our recommendation. Maybe forget anybody said anything about it. I kind of liked it. <laughs> it was so freaking. Uh, it was weird. People might like. Dee! Dee! We're going live. We, T, we wouldn't have been here if it weren't for everybody <laughs> asking out, us everybody. to take them home. Thanks, everybody. We've escorted you all to our home. We're home. We're live on Where? another stream. If you want to join us there, that would be oh, yep. awesome, T. The other stream is up. Let's we, do you it. You can hang out here if you like, too. We don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> we have them both going. Let's get a little, get, get a little mood music. Does it have the Should same? Get a little mood music on a little, little bit of mood music. Late night mm. appearing is what oh. it's called. Oh, oh. The not a building. See? Oh. It's the new mix from DJ All Business. You know, it's like Google Monday, I saw. So right glad you caught us too. Locked into the baddest dark conscious. Big up all the dog slingers 
all the way in Toronto, in the mountains of Nelson, D.C. So if you go to our channel, there's a late night to peering. Moniker's in here. Hey, Moniker. You're right there. We just restarted the stream for some PC action because we've been out. If you like old cars and planes, check out our VOD. It's Dream Powered Aerial Plane from earlier. Thanks for coming in. Great to see you. Should we say goodbye? Come party. Uh, T and Peepin are hanging in here. You're a hard working woman, T. Alright. Come, Come join us at the other stream because Dad's pressing end. I see him doing it. Oh, you guys are up.